Hello all from Liverpool Airport. I'm joined by Plane Spot Bradley from the Plane Spotters. Hello guys, um, glad to be here. Let's see what, what we, we can catch. We'll just spin the camera around now. So yeah, good morning all. Welcome to Liverpool John Lennon Air Force from the old mound. One of a new location we are trying. So we do we will have our first arrival in about 15 minutes time we'll be a Ryanair 737 800 coming in from Stockholm and scheduled to go out five minutes ago but due to go out at 11 it's an easy just a320 to Nice so before we crack on just remember to hit the like comment share subscribe say hello in the chat get involved but we will be talking to Bradley soon about his channel and then he'll just give you a say on that and everything but hope everyone's well anyway yes so we are live at Oglet Lane on the old mount I'll just show you a little view around there just zoom in so we are in a good we are in a good spot anyway guys All right, Kyle, and whoever else is joining, gone live a bit earlier, but well, that's fine. Gives it time to boot off, like Kyle says, boot it, Zed in. <laughs> you said that the other day, you know, Kyle, you went, let's boot YouTube Zed in and we can get three, five files and so. So, just leave you on that spot there, well. Let's fix the tripod, there we go. It's a bit windy today though, isn't it? Well, I should warm up in a bit. The forecast was nice, but yeah. So, we've got the airport tower there. And then, we might get a good view of the blue gear shortly, guys. So, everyone's slowly tuning in. Good morning from Liverpool Airport anyway. Liverpool Airport live! And it's live! Like they say on Sky Sports. Yeah. And it's live. We are on the old mound here at Liverpool Airport. I am joined by Bradley from the Plains Spotter, so go and subscribe to her and Spotter Kyle. And we should have our first arrival and departure in around about 10 minutes' time. Those are tuning in, just let me know how the sound is anyway, can you hear us good enough? I know it's the wind blowing a bit, but just let us know how the sound is. Good morning Marius, welcome to the Liverpool Airport Live, on Plane Spot and Mike Live, live with the Plane Spotters, Bradley, who's here in the background. Hello. He says hello. We will be getting from these streams from now on, from today's stream. We will be getting links in the chat, so go and follow them and subscribe to them and show your support to them. And then, yeah, we're, we're growing fast now, guys. Lots of exciting stuff to come anyway, which I'll get into soon. Hello, Mum. So, did they clean up the spot? And I was I, I was at the mound before, and some of the airport staff were there taking the rubbish. So they have been doing cleanups, which is good. Remember, guys, take home your rubbish if you're visiting the airport. Let's look after our mounds and our airport. Support them. Yeah. So yeah, go and subscribe to Bradley. Follow Mikey on Instagram. Great, two great lads, as well as Kyle. Let's get their channel out there. They're great admins, great, great friends. We're supporting them as well. They're finding their way to support me, so we'll support them. So, cameras have a bit. Of, cameras have a bit of malfunction, so content's not paused. 
camera's now in the wrong like sim thing so sorry if i had a little issue probably sorry i've got some good content coming anyway but, so stay tuned we have got a good flock of birds still but, is it a bird is it a plane no it's a bird but we'll have a plane soon <laughs> so morning callum and everyone tuning into the Liverpool Airport live from the old mound. We do have an arrival coming in in around about 10 minutes time of a Ryanair from Stockholm. And we do have an easy jet due out shortly. Should have went about 22. It's due out about 11-ish. Going out to Nice. And then we've got the Aer Lingus in about half an hour's time. And a Ryanair so. Yeah, welcome all. Um, if you did tune into yesterday's live from the terminal building, I did show you around the airport. We, and we did pay our respects at the hills for Band of Life for the 97, so justice and you never walk alone. Uh, like and then, would have been nice to have Everton to win at Chelsea, but they got battered. Well, it's football, but anyway. And I will be live at about quarter past six tonight for about 20 minutes for the arrival of the British Airways in Bray, which is coming in to take the Liverpool team out to Italy tomorrow, I believe. And yes, we did have a private admin chat last night, just talking about the channel, of how we're going to improve it and yeah, I bring a new, f a f try a new few things and see what we can do. I have the ball so I can do it. It's all right, but yeah, as I say, um, next month is a big month for the channel because we've got a, a live stream from a mystery airport. Um, Mac Aviation's coming to Liverpool Airport next month, also in about five weeks' time, six weeks, whatever. I'll be live, and Mac will be our guest, so that's up going to be one of our big streams, guys. We're going live with Captain Mark again, again next month. And then there's going to be more Liverpool shows and content and um, a trip to Manchester. Big things are coming. Big things are coming, yeah. Stay tuned and you'll find out. Is that the um, Origni one? Yeah, so I'm looking to wrap up on that uh, that arrival if it's on time. Well, what have we got around that like, that time? The East uh, the Air Charter Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, let's get like in the stream, sharing it, and call it, you, you know the drill. What's coming in? Just awaiting the arrival of the Ryanair from Stockholm and the departure of EasyJet to Nice. And we've got a few. We sh will, might get a good chance and get a good sh visual shot of the Beluga shortly as well, landing into Chester, depending on which way. So we'll. If it's coming round this way, we'll see it from here, a bit closer than you would, would at the mound. But that's the farmer's field anyway. There's the Air Force Tower, and then we've got a good shot. So we have got a good air view here. So as I said. I'm gonna start doing some meetups now on like bank holidays, weekends when I'm off, days when I'm off. So we are having a meet. Well, I'll be live anyway. Bank holiday Monday, the sixth of May, with Callum Jones. But yeah, if you is it if you's a free and you're doing nothing, the weather's looking good at the moment. Well, it could change. You never know what the weather's like. But at the moment, it looks good. So from 12 o'clock up to about 4, if you're free and you've got an hour, come down, say hello, and let's just enjoy some spotting together. And you can see me, watch, probably watch me doing the live as well. And if you're around, there'll be a few other followers there as well. So just a nice little get-together bank holiday when you enjoy some planes together, eh? Where's the that? On the mound. Oh. So it'll be on the mound on the 6th of May. I plan to go live at about half twelve. So I'll be there for about half ten, ten o'clock. Anyway, I say that it'll probably be more like nine o'clock. But anyway, come down and enjoy some plane spotting at Liverpool. Yeah. So
We should have about five or seven minutes out, should be the Ryanair, so that was due at 11. The easy jet's due out at 11, so we should be too far out from an arrival, which would be a Ryanair from Stockholm, which is kind of going in well with ABBA, because it's their 50th anniversary. The Ryanair is for the Eurovision, so the Ryanair is on the way in. It's currently over a flying school somewhere on the way in from Stockholm, so we'll catch that in a few minutes' time. Flying like near Fizakli. So just let me know when it's coming over and gone. Just got the camera ready. We are joined by the plane spotters Bradley. Who is our guest today, who won the competition the other week of a, a beluga model, a luggage saga and being a guest on the show, so here he is now. Is this one so well? Hello. It's a big shout out there to you as all from Bradley. Hello Hazy, Marius, Callum and anyone who's watching anyway. And I feel a bit of rain. Why is there rain? And when it was forecast to be nice and, and sunny today. Rain but won't stop us. It won't stop us anyway. Anything for aviation. But yeah. We do have a little Raven Air Piper coming in here. So I'll just zoom in a bit and we'll try and catch it here. Once we did get from behind these trees, you do get a good shot of them, view of them. So that's just a little Raven Air Piper there. Just touching down after a nice little flying lesson. And then in a couple, the next few minutes, we'll have our Ryanair coming in from Stockholm. So that just like, we are just keeping an eye out for it now. So, yeah, anyway. So the Ryanair is now coming on to the finals and the Isla, which is established. So, good morning everyone anyway. Welcome to Liverpool Airport Live on Plains Farm Mike Live. And it's live. We do have our first arrival coming up now in a few seconds time. It's just on the fa lap coming on the air. It's turning on to finals. Turning on to finals now. Ryanair 737800 coming in from Stockholm. So. So if you have got any questions for Bradley about his channel, drop them in the chat. He is here. Ask him about his channel and that so I'll be happy to answer. Yeah, happily answer any questions. This is going to be a, a, what we're adding now to the on the channel to the live streams. All the links in the chat for Kyle's channel, Mikey's channel, Bradley's links for Liverpool Airports, Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Uh, speak all and then go on from there with lots of positive vibes and support and res respect in the streams and the other people. Oh, he's turning, that's right. Good morning to Miss Wars. We do now have on short finals. It will be is this Ryanair 737-800 coming in from Stockholm. If you're wondering where we are, we are on the Oglet Lane of the Old Mount and a different location. So we've got the other mound there, which I streamed from last week, but we're a bit further along. So we get a good view here, so, but that's it. So please like, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, share the stream. Yeah. On short finals now is the Ryanair. So we're catching that now coming in over Runcorn. We'll see it in a second. He's I'm pinging up. He's just not popped up. I'm pinging up now and getting about, about to push back is the EasyJet A320 going yeah. out to Nice. Neo. And then in a, a Neo. And then around about 20 minutes we will have the Aer Lingus ATR departing back to Dublin. 
So, if I was on, you can just about hear it now, but we'll, we'll see it a bit later on. So, so we've got 15 people watching. Any questions? But yeah, Bradley from the Plain Slotters is here, those that are tuning in. He's a good friend of mine and his mum's a good friend as well. He has his own channel, which we'll get on in. But the link is in the chat for Bradley's, the Plain Slotters, so drop on a subscribe. Here we go, Ryan Air. You'll, you'll see it through the tree in a second yeah. and we'll get it. There's something. So. Can you hear it now? So, first arrival, Ryanair. Oh, oh. Irish taxis. But yesterday when I was at the airport, I seen not one, not two, but I seen three Ryanairs. I seen six yesterday, which is. There we go. Arrival of a Ryanair coming in from Stockholm. Enjoy this, guys, and welcome to Liverpool Airport Live. Just coming over here, guys. Starting to hear it now. Yeah. So. Here we go, it's coming. This is our Ryanair 737800 arriving from Stockholm, our first arrival on the show, so enjoy this guys. Oh, he's doing a go round. So, Ryanair's doing a go around. It's doing a go round here at Liverpool guys. I do apologise, I will get back on the camera, I've just had trouble. But yeah, so no, no it, it's a go, it's a go around. Our first go around on the live stream here at Liverpool. Whoa! My first go around. So that's a first go around for me on the live stream, guys. The Ryanair's done a go round. The first ever go around for me. Yeah. So while we wait for that to come back, we will have the easy just in a few moments. So. Why did you go around? Must have been uh, too high. Must have been a bit too high, yeah. It, mind you, it looked a bit high, and we had that wind then. You was two thousand feet up last night. So it must have been too high. So that we've had a go around. Hey, what a way to start the show, hey eh, guys? A go around. Go 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 around, Ryanair. They can never land a plane. Oh, here comes. So we wait for that to come back, guys. Oh well. Last week we had an, but two weeks ago we had an aborted land, and we just had to go around. And yesterday while I was here, we had a, a, a diverted. I do apologise, guys. I did try and keep the camera up, but because I've got the tripod that full length, I couldn't do it. Yeah. Wind shear and too high. It was wind shear and too high. So, so he'll go back around right now, yeah. We've got an easy jet on the way out anyway. So, good morning anyway, everyone. Welcome to the Liverpool Airport Live on Plain Spot Night Live with the Plain Spot of Bradley. That was amazing, but weird it was. Didn't, didn't see that coming. First ever. Hey, yes. so I had the first aborted land takeoff two weeks ago. That was the first ever go around on the line. <laughs> then we had a diversion on the Manchester show last week. Yeah. And now, and of course, I diverted the eight Erlingers yesterday afternoon. By the way, don't be afraid to ask questions. I will yeah. I'm happy to answer anything. Any questions from the plane spotters, we will answer them. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm from, honestly and truthfully. We are gonna start having some guests in the second round now on street most streams. I think I've met that hazy, but I can't remember. I recognise her name anyway. So sure, she's one of the girls that was at the airport a while back. Hmm. Ah, that was mad, though, wasn't it? Yeah, Can we get what set a target, Brad? Of what? Of a, On your life. That we can set now of, to get people watching. So like mate, can we get to thirty people watching? Ooh, can we reach thirty? Yeah. I think twenty-five or thirty. Right, we've set a goal of twenty-five people in or more before this Ryanair comes back. <laughs> in the next few minutes. Can we get to 20 likes before the Ryanair touches down? Share to your friends, you know. Nothing but get overhead so I can't see any. Yeah, you yeah, 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 it's the same though. It's all, it's all weathers today. A little bit like yesterday, innit? Yeah. All weathers today. Cold, warm, yes, rain. Yes, yes, I think we had every yeah. uh, weather yesterday. Hail, so. Hailstones! We're at the shop! Hailstones! Yeah. So... We should have this Ryanair back in a second. So... On YouTube. So... We are just uh, looking looking out for this Ryanair yeah. to come back in from Stockholm after a go round. I know I need to uh, go over again with the rain. Ding for you as well. Yeah. Ding. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get proper one son with the logo on. At some point. Oh, Ryanair, are you? I don't know where the Ryanair is. It should be on the way back in well, now. Ryanair's now on finals, coming in. So second attempt for this Ryanair 737-800 from Stocker. Which is on final, so second attempt. For registration E I E K G. So the registration is E I E K G. Of a flight time of around two hours and fifteen minutes. Two hours fifteen minutes. It, w it was really short about the girl have. But it would have been. You got British Airways um, 77 one of them. Oh. Flying over Berkeley. Yeah. From Chicago to the. Yeah, so. Welcome to all those tuning in anyway. As we catch a dish right here. Second Flying attempt. Second attempt for landing. Flying over Berkeley. Yeah, it's over Runcorn on finals, over oh, Callum's guy. Oh, the blue sky is back again. Look at the beautiful blue sky. For now. For now. You're a pop pilot too, man. That is your job. Yeah, we've got the easy jet on our way out for Nice, the A320 Neo. And we will now have to arrive at Ryanair. Yeah, hopefully. 
We hope it doesn't do another go around. Actually, no. Yes, we do. Huh? Yes, we do. A second go around. That'd be funny. He has, he's at 1,100 feet now. Nine hundred fifty feet. Yeah. yeah. So, so we're gonna get it now, guys. Plenty of trees. And plenty of trees. I'll get it. See it coming through the trees. So here we go, guys. First arrival of the stream. Second attempt, Ryan here from Stockholm. <laughs> yeah. Can't say it's a second arrival, yeah. I'm I'm that play with the wow, we it? And we are also joined by Donna Bradley's and all the, the flying spotters. There he is. Here we go. Here we go, Ryanair. Yeah. First arrival, Ryanair, seven free from Stockholm. And it's down Ryanair from Stockholm, and we do have an easy jet on the way out, an A320neo for, Ni for Nice. So, yeah, we're gonna have to get out of here. I hope you've all enjoyed oh, that. I told you that everyone, a lot of people have said this was a good spot, and it is. So, there's a shot that Ra Bradley's just took there. Irish taxis. I have an Irish taxi. So, it, good morning Mike Wilde, welcome to the stream, live from Liverpool, the old mound down Oglet Lane, we are joined by Bradley from the Plain Spotters, we have just had our first arrival which was a Ryanair from Stockholm after the second attempt after a go around, and on the taxi we do have an EasyJet 320neo, it looks like it's storm. for nice, niche. But do like, comment, share, subscribe, and show your love and support. It looks stormy. It's a good shot though. Yeah, it looks stormy. Any questions for Bradley, you will answer them in a moment, yeah. after this easy jet. Get them in, get them in. About his channel, his channel is in the link, is in the chat, the link to the plane spot. Couple of more suits. Okay. Tell us last night, I was live. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little, it's a little, it's a tiny little buzz. Yeah, the that's big. no couch. Oh, when's the, when's the buzz next in? I don't know. We, we, we haven't got it for a while. <laughs> All weathers today, guys. The way we just tease us. Yeah. Which is good. I don't mind. The, the weather. Because you're getting all you're getting all different photos here at the minute with the weather. You're getting the stormy ones, you're getting the sun sunny ones, you're getting the cloudy ones here. So you're good. I don't mind this weather keep changing a little bit. If you're getting a photo like content in each. Stormy, sunny, cloudy. You're getting all three. Hi Paul, welcome to the stream from Liverpool. On the old mound. The old mound, we just had our first arrival, which was Ryanair after a go around from Stockholm. Got an EasyJet Neo on the taxi in any moment now for Nice. We are joined by Bradley from the Plane Spotters. And any questions we will answer. And we'll get on it to the chat after this easy jet. And another Ryanair arrival in 24 minutes. And we have got another Ryanair on arrival in 24 minutes time. From Madrid. Coming in from Madrid. And any time shortly we should have the Aer Lingus ATR departing any time. Back and to Dublin. After the Ryanair, we have an easy jet from Mallorca. And then after the Ryanair's arrival we will have an easy jet arrival from Mallorca. 
Ryanair than the EasyJet. So Ryanair, Ryanair, EasyJet. Yeah, so Ryanair, Ryanair, EasyJet. Rivals. We are just awaiting a departure right now. Yeah. Air Lingus in 17 minutes. Yeah, departure. So that's late. It departs at half level. Does it? The Air Lingus. So it's due to depart at 20 past, but it's estimated for half 11, yeah, so it's the easy jet now on the taxi out. A few Dublin flights in a row. Yeah, so on the taxi out now we do have this easy jet 320 Neo on it's the way to Nice. So we'll capture this. It's a very weird colour car. Orange easy jet. I can hear the Aer Lingus. Yeah. I can also hear the Aer Lingus as well, so... Two double plates in a row, Yeah. So... Yeah, so guys, this is one of a new spot. What do you think so far, guys? I do stream from the other one over there, where we come to the older one, one of the older, older ones. Yeah. To give you a better... Great stream, thank you very much. If you are new, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, invite people. We we are on the way to 3,300. And we'll get onto my channel in a moment. He's a raw, that is. We've also joined here by Plain Swatters Bradley, so the, the links are in the chat anyway. So go and check them out. I'll, ask, I'll, get, I'll answer one question. <laughs> and, and I will be live later on this evening as well for half an hour for the arrival of the British Airways Embraer coming in. Looks like the Aer Lingus is on the taxi as well. Yeah. So we've also got the Aer Lingus ATR 72 on the taxi out for Dublin. Yeah we do, we do. And this is the EasyJet to Nice. So we've got two departures coming up now for you guys. Right there, just going to stand. anyway one of our favorite and local airports home airports all right yeah. ah, I'm doing it that this one today yeah I've never I haven't been on this one for years so I was just off here but yeah, that's not bad. So, well, it's not too bad at the moment. Yeah, you know, the forecast looked great for the day. But, yeah, I'm not bothered. Not gonna stop me. Yeah. Just been saying it's good anyway. That keeps stormy and then it brightens up. You're getting pictures of all in all now. So you're seeing different weathers and a different spot on the live. Here we go, easy get Neo for Nice. I want to line up and follow behind that is the Aer Lingus ATR to Dublin. We will be live to around 2 o'clock, all being well. It's a good spot, oh, there's loads of bushes. It is a good spot, but we have got a lot of bushes as well. It's not affecting us re much really. Lining up now is the easy jet for Nice. Which will come out now. Easy jets, yeah. Love easy jet. Here we go, easy jet lining up.
There we go, easy jet on the roll for Nice. Around about an hour and a half, two hours flight to Nice. An hour roughly. We'll go out of shop and then we will get it back in shot once it's off. So here we go. Easy Jess. And now lining up is the Air Lingus ATR for Dublin. Yeah, so we've also been joined by a follower and a watcher now. It's Rob C just selling us here in about 1981. He was up against the fence here and caught the Concorde landing into Liverpool in about 1981. He said he'd seen the Concorde landing here. So, so big shout out to Rob C there. Here we go, Erling us off to Dublin. Quite a few people here, but uh, there is a, quite a few people about, which is good. So, if you want a bit of fresh air, come and get yourself down here. Pass the time away, guys. Nothing else better to do. There we go. Air Lingus is up there. to work as cabin crew for Ryanair, well, it's something you could look into. I know a few friends who work for Ryanair. They're getting better as an airline Ryanair though. Yeah. Landings are getting better. I think Ryanair and these jets are fairly good, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I went to the Bucharest the other week to see it. it's like this castle and all that. But with it, the plane was delayed by nine hours. Oh, play. Started. And then uh, it was just jam packed, the plane jam packed. And I think uh, Ryan uh, got 30 inches of it. And um, DC has got 29 inches for the legs. And uh, mm. with it, uh, 26, 28. Uh, so you're you really boxed in. You, 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 I think that's the way it is with Ryanair and it, or any airline trying to get as many people on as they can. Uh, that that was there that was really boxed in no big time. Uh, but you're there, not great, the cabin's not that great. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like the seats either, the seats look a bit, bit cheap. <laughs> well, if it's someone short and skinny like me, I won't be bothered as long as I want to play. There's uh, a fella there in the middle seat. I still want that good comfort though. On the aisle, and he was a big fella, and he was squashed in that little tiny seat in the middle. I do like easy jet there, uh, cabins and comfort spots. Yeah. Right here, right. I don't know why flying with air again. No, I've <laughs> never flew with air. But. Scheduled for quarter to twelve at Chester is the Beluga, so we should 
if he's around or nearby or not too far down now we might get a good chance of a beluga so it is coming in from Hamburg big shout out to Bradley the plane spotters and also joined by Rob Street who's popped down to say hello and come for a bit of fresh air so. it depends what runway they're on at Chester it? So, it depends what runway they're on at Chester yeah. It's going to come over that way anyway from Hamburg, from by like, Halewood Way. So, for everyone who's soon and I hope you are all liking the stream anyway and enjoying it. a couple of easy jets or rhinos on the way in soon. Waiting the next arrival, guys. I yeah, will keep an eye out for the blue if I see it. Yeah, I'll just want to be charged with Danny. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got Braddy from the Prince Fosses here, and I will ask him about any a few questions now and about his channel so if you've got any questions you can ask them and he'll answer them so we have got Bradley here hello from the plane spotted so he has got his own channel he's only 17 anyway he's just starting out so just talk about a bit about what your channel Bradley and what you're looking to do and where you want to be in a few years sound like very right, uh, right, so um, you my channel do. consists of um, my channel it consists of taking like videos and photos over different airports and different locations um, across the UK mainly um, based in Liverpool at the moment because um, I haven't got the funds to travel anywhere uh. <laughs> and um, okay and then um, it also consists of um, some, um, what's the word, photos as well, that I post on different socials, like Instagram, Facebook. If someone can drop his YouTube link in the chat, that'll be appreciated. Do go and subscribe, he's just starting out like myself. He's, and he's, st he's learning a bit from me, but we want to you know, get behind him and support us. He does do good videos and content, so yeah. That'd be good. Where do you want to see yourself in a few years then, Brad? Somewhere working a lot in like the aviation industry and yeah. still posting content, you know, from different airports. Maybe like Chester one, one day. Yeah. Maybe Heathrow, or like you. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, I, I, I need to get a job. And then yeah. I can go with it, you know what I mean? And he does have a favourite airline and a favourite aircraft, so do you, do you want to say what that is? I just love a Virgin and the 350s, to be honest with you. <laughs> 350s are oh, the god. Yeah. He's only been to Manchester and Liverpool at the moment, but... Looking to expand. What airports would you like to visit? What planes would you like to fly one day I've in the future? Seen, um videos of the Skier Toss Airport, with the plane you fly over your head. It looks quite sick. Then you got St. Martin, obviously, it's a must. Yeah, right, thank you for also. And then, Mallorca, 
Faro, all them. Yeah, there is a lot of good ones. And maybe one day he'll have his own stream and shows here, so... He is a good friend of mine anyway, good follower of the channel. But, so, so, just looking at my channel, Brad, you've been on a few streams anyway. And you see the amount of streams and content I do. What do you like about this channel? Well, you've seen it, a few different things and how it's grown when I've, from where you are now to now. Yeah. I like the quality of the videos that you post. Like, from when you just started, so mm. like, you didn't really talk much. To yeah. now, express yourself a lot, do you know what yeah. I mean? That'll be you one day, though. And it's just quite nice seeing you improve, do you know what I mean? So, what, yeah, I think <laughs> no, we've got Jet 2 now. What other airlines would you like to see at Liverpool? And well, obviously, Virgin, let's be honest. <laughs> Virgin would be good at Liverpool, it was, it has been there before. I'd yeah. like to have Wheeling, but yeah, Wheeling, yeah, yeah, maybe British Airways. So, you're looking to do your own little community and channel, like then you want to start building a little community around your channel, yeah. Yeah. yeah, just be nice. I'm not trying to make myself super famous. Just have a little yeah. community that support me. You know? Yeah. So, guys, go and give the plane shot as a subscribe on YouTube anyway. He, is, he does do. He is part of a football and at college, so he's not posting as much as I do, but he will be eventually. So, go and check him out anyway. He is on most streams anyway. So. But this is kind of a new spot for us, and I kind of like it. I love it. Uh, we do love it. That stormy rain air shot was the best one I didn't call. Mm -hmm. What's your best thing you've seen at Liverpool then? It went now over the last year or so. Like aircraft wise? Yeah, or just Ooh. anything. It's been so oh, no, actually, I caught an air. Um, well, I didn't catch it because it was dark. But there was an air barrier, A350. And I caught it. I miss that. I miss that. Night Bear Roger 8 for you, isn't it? Yeah. Which I tried to get, but we I've do, seen it. We do get some good planes here. We should have our next arrival soon, guys, anyway. And then we should be due. I'm going to grab my camera and I'll come on. Yeah. So if you've got any questions for Bradley, get, you can, we'll answer them. There we go. Liverpool was always quiet, and then uh, yeah. Manchester gone straight, and take off then really yeah. loads of plays during the day. If you don't, anyone's wondering who else is here, it's Rob C, one of a good follower as well, and what's who's popped down to say hello anyway. They he is just talking a bit about Liverpool anyway, so support the channel. And supports our channel very well, so we'll just get Rob to say hello to some of you guys and just give a background from you know your you've been saying about the Concord, so just a bit about maybe we're only young anyway. Just uh, maybe some stories that you've seen here over the years at Liverpool. I've seen, I've seen most planes take off, and it used to be like Dungeon Lane, it used to be at the back of the runway, and all the planes would take off, and you try and stand up with all the wind coming off, the, all the planes taking off. And it used to be a really good spot to uh, see them, but they, unfortunately they blocked off yeah. the Dungeon Lane. But um, I thought I will see whether they expand Liverpool Airport, but. When I was a child, it was always the original uh, control tower on the area, and the planes used to come right in. So you had a really good view, and you used to get all the back blast off them. Uh, used to be really good. I, I, I think it was like two pence or five pence. It was so much stupid to go up there. Uh, I remember my mate one night leaving his sport back up there one day, and he calls the uh, bomb scare. He left his back up there with all his school gear. I'm sure they're full wheel expand, that's what they are doing at the moment, aren't they? So, uh, what's over the, I know you've seen the Concorde, but what's that? What, it's been your favourite aircraft you've probably seen over then the Concorde at Liverpool? Uh, or your favourite memory, or your whatever? Memory 747 was taken over that runway, would be good. <laughs> so, yeah, and so, there was the, uh, the C5, the Galaxy. Yeah. Years ago. So years ago, one of his favourite memories was the C5 and seeing the 74 just taking off from this close runway here. We walked through the uh, Galaxy, we left our bikes here and we walked through it. Yeah. Yeah. 
So this is Rob C who's started watching yeah. and supporting our channel. He's been in the last couple of shows in the chat. Oh, so he's I... just taught, telling us about. How was that? He's just, <laughs> just telling us about when he's seen the Concorde for team landing here, and he was up yeah, against fantastic. the fence there. So, lad. Uh, hi Mike, it's great to finally join one of your streams. Thank you for joined by Bradley here and we've also got Rob C who's just talking to us a bit of, of stories from Liverpool here. Yes. So. Well, I'm just peeling the window. Yeah, yeah. So just getting from you as well, Bradley, both of you. What would you both like to see from Liverpool then over the next few years, expansion wise? I would anything? like to see it expanding but towards the river. Yeah, because so the, the problem is, is when it takes when they go oh nine and they take off over hail, they're on full thrusters and yeah. the, the racket over hail is uh, quite bad, you know. Yeah. I like that idea, it's extending the runway right down the Mersey. Yeah. That'd be awesome, that. A bit like Heathrow or Amsterdam. Bradley, yeah. what would you like to see Liverpool do over this next few years other than an expansion? Uh, maybe like to get a few more airlines in. You know, yeah, like TUI, Emirates. TUI. The Emirates 77, the TUI Dreamliners. I believe yeah. TUI might be coming back to Liverpool at the, at the end of the year or next year. Maybe. We're just waiting to see. I, I don't know, it's, it's just really on. Yeah, so we should have our next arrival in a few minutes. Sounds it. Got in Ryanair due out in 10 minutes for Dublin. So we've got Ryanair due out in 10 minutes for Dublin, guys. We're just waiting for a couple of arrivals that are all on the way. The Beluga should be around somewhere. I haven't seen it yet. But that's on the during it. any time for Chester. Glad you managed to tune in, Paul. I will be live later for half, 20 minutes, half an hour for the British Airways tonight. Embraer Good coming in for, for which will be taking the Liverpool team on tomorrow, apparently to Italy for the game on Thursday. It's, I, live for, I think it's all over for Liverpool. They could, there is, you have still got a slight chance, but they, they should win on Sunday against Fulham. And then you'll beat us. It, and then we will batter Everton, of course, next week from Goodison. Yeah, I'm good to uh, regress soon, yeah. Paul, can you come and cut these down, please? <laughs> I know oh, they are. God. It's not affecting us much, but it is a new spot, and I thought I'd just try it. Oh, the grass. But I do love it. I haven't been on this one for years. But, yeah. You are starting to see. As I said, we are at 3,300 a day. Improving the streams now, having a guest or someone alongside me all the time. So, getting the links in the chat, putting them in the description, bringing more and more shows. So, next month is big. Live from a mystery airport. Live at Mac Aviation from here. Live at Captain Mark again from Airliners Live. And more Liverpool shows. And a trip to Manchester. Again. Again. Yeah. When? I don't know what day. Yeah. The RVP? Most probably be the RVP, yeah, because I've got a Friday, I'll show you going to see Matt Smith, so if I can get that on that Friday, I will. But it's also on the 12th, where there's one of the uh, followers who watches me sometimes. But he mostly watches airliners live, it's his birthday, so they're all, they do it anyway, there's a follower, Tom and Ann. They're there every Sunday, and they just have a little get together, a few of them. I think Sam Donison, he's always there on a Sunday as well, so. So we've got a Ryanair and now two minutes out, coming in from Madrid, the 737-800, so that's just coming over Frodsham, so that's a couple of minutes out, Ryanair, I won 38 euros on the golf on Sunday, well done Paul. We've got a little Ravenair Piper there, touching down Liverpool Flying School, which has sadly seized trade over now, but we have still got Ravenair and Keenair. It's off down. That windy there, guys. And it 
just see. I think there's another other guy going around there. So we'll have a Ryanair coming in and Ryanair going out. We've got one ping enough to, to come up for departure. It sh should be the Dublin flight. We've got the Madrid flight arriving. And on all the way, we'll wrap up on the uh, Avancia uh, Dash 8 coming in from Guernsey for Urini. I like to help on here. Mike, who do you want to be the next Liverpool manager? Ah, I keep getting asked this question. It would be nice if Steven Gerrard, but people don't want him, but I'll happily take Xavi Alonso, maybe as manager Gerrard as assistant, something like that, or Gerrard manager Xavi assistant, so... <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but I don't know who would take it. I, I do follow Liverpool, but I mostly follow the women's side, which I will be down to Bristol on Sunday morning. Uh, Everton will sack Sean Dice, they will sack him at, at some point if he keeps getting results like that. But I say it's sad Klopp's going, but he has done well for the not just for the club, but he, he's a hero Klopp for what he's done for the city. So I don't know who's going to be next manager. I just don't know guys, do you really? So, so, so the Beluga's 15 minutes out guys from Chester, so we might just see it depending on which way it comes. We are going to catch this right now, I don't have any time now, coming in from Madrid. Watch out for that. So, so our next arrival will be the Ryanair 73 from Madrid. Good morning everyone, just popping in quickly whilst I'm on a break, these streams on in the background on the TV. Oh, that's nice, Tracy. I've uh, got Bradley alongside me here from the Plains Fossa, so we've also got a good follower as well. New, new follower of the channel, Rob Zoo's popped down to say hello as well. So, I hope you've all enjoyed last night's live, or yesterday afternoon, so I say, from the airport. We've got a couple of exciting things coming up on the channel over the next month. This is a big month now, guys. What else? Wasn't there an easy jet or something behind that as well? Or Ryanair on the way in as well? Yeah. So, welcome to the stream, anyway, guys. Yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah, so after the next month, guys, we've got a live stream from a mystery airport. We've got a live coming up with Captain Mark again from Airlines Live. We've also got a live stream with Mac Aviation next month. He is coming down to Liverpool. I'm doing a live stream on my channel. He'll be the guest. So it's going to be our biggest stream, guys. And then, of course, loads of lives from Liverpool, and then there might be a sneaky one from Manchester. I don't care who gets the job, so long as it's not Jose Mourinho. I agree. <laughs> don't want that. Don't want that pillock. But anyway, uh, both the arrivals of these jet and Ryanair yeah. have been pushed back. So they, they got delays on the easy and right uh, over. The Alicante Ryanair is not due until so seven minutes past twelve. So we've got we've got an easy and a Ryanair behind this one <laughs> delay. <laughs> Yeah. The sun is in and out. <laughs> but yeah, that's time to push on, guys. I am doing a meet and greet here at Liverpool and in Bank Holiday Monday, the 6th of May from 12. So come down, say hello if you're around and come and meet Ray and you'll meet up other followers and sponsors. Is there a new route? Which? Mercy. It must be, yeah. Mercia. So, just about on short finals now is the Ryanair from Madrid. Just past one hour live. Been a good live so far. From the old man. Yeah? Hopefully, wrap up on the. Uh, 
advance here, dash eight, and then come back live tonight for the British Airways at quarter past six. So we will be live again later, guys. Yeah, he's under, he's under so here we go. I can hear it now. Watch yourself in a second. Watch yourself in a second. So just a about to pop up behind the street now is the Ryanair from Madrid. It's at 800 feet. Too far now. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Ryanair arrival from Madrid. of a bumpy crosswind there guys it is a bit windy so I'm off now folks to cut my grass I'll be back in the next live stream no worries I am live tonight for 20 minutes half an hour at the airport catching the arrival of the British Airways Embraer which will be taking Liverpool out to Italy tomorrow and then I don't know when the next live stream will be after that at the airport probably next week <laughs> Brad, you got me? You got me in the middle of yeah. going. <laughs> yeah, but just for the next oh, couple of weeks, I won't be getting as much content anyway. I'm going to try and get all this out and then have a rest and then start. Did you get me going with yeah. So, I am taking a rest in between as well. What? The blue is off labour. So we're coming in from in around about five or ten minutes we are gonna way. get a shot of the beluga coming over us. So look out for that guy, it's the beluga is it? Flying over Manchester. It's at currently over Manchester, so not long away now. We will see the beluga. We have got a couple of raven airs there just going out for a lesson. One. After the beluga. And two. So, I hope everyone's well anyway and had a nice weekend. Did you tell the huge phone? Tell me all day, huge phone. That's my phone, go for you. It's a perfectly balanced level, that Mikey. Yeah, that's why I think about it. It's good, yeah. Yeah, so we got. Going back around the Raven Air Piper. It's 825 feet. Yeah, 825 feet, yes. It's a good thing, it's actually. Okay. Good thing about this spot, we tripod straight and it's level on with the gel thing. That's the level? It's level, so the tripod's level on flatness. There we go. Little Raven Air Piper there, guys. What about the curly big boys? <laughs> this is a good view, guys. What do you think in the chat? I've probably been to Augie the last eight more in the last week or two than I have on that side. more at the minute getting that content which is good isn't it okay. so what I'm going to do through the summer more still come down through the winter and the autumn and spring just come down during the day not in the night so we are at the beluga five minutes out so it's about to come over any minute so currently you've got the beluga over St Helens which is we, we, we should see it in a minute, any minute coming over the flat, the hangars there. And we'll be stra coming straight over, so the blue is inbound now. 
the blue glue pool? Yeah. This is me, Mikey. Yeah, we did. This is me, Mikey. Don't you see them? Shoot. You said college that day. Stood yep. on the mound over there and it went right past me. I went, don't you see it soon at Chester? The photograph has itself in and he's a college so, like, ah, he's, he's, he's yeah. kicking me over there. So we are about to see the beluga come oh, right man. over any moment. So, oh. so let's, we are looking out for the beluga. First one to see the beluga. First one to come see on the beluga. The yeah. Yeah. Somewhere over there. Just about to come over the islands. At 6,000 feet, so. See if we can see him, the big boy, the beluga. He's come to find the look at him. So, yeah, Brad, there's a wave. There's Bradley from the plane spotters there. Yeah, so let's see if we can see the beluga. He is coming over. Oh, we're just looking out for it now. It's currently over St Helens. So, any minute now, I should see him. Just seeing something. There he is, guys. There he is there, the Airbus Beluga XL on the way into Chester from Hamburg. There we go. The Airbus Beluga is at 5,000 feet. Just straight over Liverpool Airport. In clouds, isn't it? There we go, good view of the Beluga. on its way into Harden. It's Chester C E G is it? Yeah. It's down as Chester Airport, but the actual thing's hot ch name for it is Chester Harden Airport. But you, you can say Chester, some people go, oh it's hard and you can say Harden, some people say it's Chester. But I just call it Chester because Harden is in Chester and it's known as Chester. So that was a good shot at the Beluga there, guys. The XL. Yeah. Reef is all under it there. What's that? 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 What's uh, nice <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that little the spot there then of the Beluga XL. That was a good shot of Bradley that Bradley's just got now of the Beluga. There yeah, that's a shot a bloody epic shot that Brad from the Beluga there. So we will have our next arrival in a few minutes time anyway. But hey, damn blue sky. Yeah. So I think it will be a got a lot do the half an hour live tonight. And then I haven't got one plan then. There's a plane there. Yeah. Uh, I, there's no plan for a stream yet after tonight but the next lap as i said i'll be taking a rest anyway from recording content because i've got loads there to post yeah so Man, I see your face. Yeah. Badly. do the live side and then have a rest lap, oh. just, uh, what, what is try and get all the rest of this content posted and then, have a rest and then start it back up again with more content but i'll never get it done so we'll have the live later and then there'll Korean. be a week off from a live stream guys. So it's Amber's favourite. It's coming in. 
No, I was at seven four seven. Korean? No, Lufthansa. So we have just had a good shot overhead. We can't see it now. It was the Lufthansa seven four seven. Lufthansa seven four seven. Yeah, because I've got loads of content there, so I'll never get to the end of it. So. I'm going to have a little rest from coming down, getting content, get it all finished, and then have a rest and start back up. The next live stream will be Bank Holiday Monday, the 6th of May, at half 12. But that's a chance to have a get together as well. And so if you're, you're free on Bank Holiday Monday and you want to have some fresh air or something to do, come down and say hello for an hour or so, or whatever. I'll be there for a few hours. So, we'll be live tonight for about 20 minutes, half an hour, catching the arrival of the British Airways. See this tiny little flame we go behind the clouds? Go behind the clouds, the yeah, pop that big box and clean the virgin. Yeah. The virgin? Over so, we, he's just the virgin. No, so there'll still be content be posted, but no live stream oh, for the next there. week or so. Because I'm going to take a little yeah, rest from posting as well. Yeah, yeah. But enjoy what you've got. Yeah, it's 2,000 people. Because next month's going to be boss. Uh, we should have a departure. I don't think that Ryan is gone yet, yeah, as if for Dublin. So. We are still awaiting the departure of the Ryanair 73 to Dublin. I think we take the Beluga for granted over the skies of the Wirral and Liverpool because it's quite a quite it's quite a common sight. It is for me at the moment. Yeah, the Ryanair is now on the taxi out. Ryanair. Hello, David Mac. Hope you're all well. We do now have a, have a Ryanair on the taxi out for Dublin and we have just caught the beluga flying overhead a few minutes ago so yeah but I'm joined by Braddy from Plane Spotters also got a good follower as well but she's easy yes I say hello and pop down hello. much appreciated yeah hello uh, where we are now so where we're on now is the old mound and it used to be cottages and back in about 1980, as Rob said earlier, he, he was stood up against the fence here to see the arrival of the Concorde. He's even seen the 747s line up here, the C 35s, and all kinds. So, yeah. yeah. As we can see, that's Bradley there, the plane spotters. Yeah. So, just watch yourself, Brad. Get, watch, get this Ryanair taxi in, Brad. So, as you can see now on the taxi up, there is the Ryanair 737-800 departing for Dublin. Welcome to Dave and Mark. Yeah, we do take it for granted, and this is what we love about Liverpool Airport here. When you get the Belugas, you see the Beluga taking off and landing here. But we are on the old mound, a different spot. I haven't been here for years. Well, apparently we're going to lose this mound, this bit of oh, something, one of these mounds I've had here the other day. But I hope not. I hope not. Uh, the Wombles have been down here quite a lot to look at them. Um, but the Air Force have started doing a lot more clean-ups now, because I've seen them taking all the rubbish before. The Wombles have been cleaning up a lot, so if you're coming down and you've got rubbish, take it with you, don't bit, chuck it. And we have got a plane going overhead, I'll see what... It does sound like an A330 or something. Where is it? Watch the Brad Cam. Yeah. yeah. So there's the Virgin Atlantic A330 there, Gavin. And we are now going to yes, no, watch out, Brad. So we are now going to catch the departure of the Ryanair to Dublin. Where was that one going? Atlanta. So that eight Virgin A330 was going from Manchester to Atlanta, and on the roll now the Ryanair to Dublin. So an A330 300 that Virgin Atlantic. Seen a lot of them at Heathrow. 
which are the old standard version 330s. So, Bled. so uh, welcome everyone that's tuning in. We have just approached lunchtime, so good afternoon. As I said, we'll be live later for half an hour for the British Airways. And Bray are coming in from from Munich to take Liverpool up tomorrow to it's silly. So we'll catch you there, and then there won't be a live stream then till Bank Holiday Monday, which is the 6th of May. Lunchtime. And that'll be a chance for you to come down and enjoy some playing something with me and say hello, meet me, and then have a little get together from 12 o'clock. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Playing Spotters, follow Kyle, follow Mikey and Airways on Instagram. Follow the airport, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Show your support to Liverpool Airport. And yeah, next month is a big month, as I said. Live in Mac Aviation. Live with Captain Mark again. Live from a mystery airport. Are you ever going to plan on expanding to TikTok? I don't know, bother with the TikTok now, it's just not doing much. Yeah. And it's more for kids. And you're getting a few weirdos on there. Jokes, isn't it? Bit of um, human jokes messing about. Yeah. It? It's fair enough, but after a bit, you get a bit fed up with it. I don't like to do too much, I just, I'm happy with what I'm doing on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But, yeah, so, as I said, there won't be a live stream from the airport after the one later. I want to get all the videos I've got, get right down to the end and then I end up getting more. So, 31,000 views, pretty yeah. series up there. So, well, everyone will understand anyway. I want to rest so I can finish all this content and then sort out the group with new, updating the rules and adding new rules and work on getting the links in the chat and learning all them stuff before next May. Of May so I'm really busy with getting content a lot, doing them live shows and so marking. So I hope you all understand the work. The uh, next live stream after later will be on Bank Holiday Monday while I get everything sorted and what and what's happening. Saint Ambrose Church. Yeah, but there still will be content over the next week or two. But if you are coming down the airport. Those are watching and get any shots, you can post them on our Facebook group. Or if you're posting them on Instagram, Twitter, tag us and I'll share the, them and share a few. Please subscribe, share and like. Yeah. So shouldn't be too long before our next arrival. Anyway, it was an easy jet, wasn't there? And another Ryanair. And then, yeah. Singapore's just left. Just shot there. Uh, what was that one? Yeah, that was a Ryanair. Yeah, so we've got a few nice overheads and the sky is clear. And, but if you are new to Liverpool, welcome. Monster. Yeah. Why, why not here? I think the one that for Liverpool normally leaves Guernsey around about quarter to two. Yeah, but do also go and give a subscribe to Mac Aviation Airline of Live or Live tomorrow at 11am. But then we madness. Do tune in because they've got an epic catch tomorrow. They will be catching the Iberia A330 from, from Madrid. So I think that is it. When's the match is that tonight or tomorrow? Man City Real Madrid is that tonight? Yeah. Gotcha. Because they're catching it tomorrow. And then look 
Liverpool for Mac Aviation next I assume he was going to do one one night this week at East Midlands. I don't know whether he still is or unless he's doing Manchester. But yeah, do go and check out Airlines Life Mac Aviation. Subscribe to Spotters Kai as the plane spotters Bradley. Yeah, the game's tomorrow. Yeah, so they will be capturing or being well the A330 for Iberia. There's a match just tomorrow. So if it's tomorrow, they'll probably be in tonight, today then. Or it's coming in tomorrow to take them out. <laughs> so yeah, the Iberia A330. Yeah. He's due in tonight at five past twelve. Oh, he's due in tonight. Hmm. Oh, we've got our next arrival. I want to. Is that Yeah, Alicante. Yeah. I see him. He's by Bergel. Yeah. Yeah, so it ran. Oh, that's just landed at Chester. So we've got our next two arrivals coming up now, which is a Ryanair from Alicante and we've got the EasyJet coming in from Palma de Mallorca. So they're the next two arrivals in a few moments time. Yeah. Here into sunny Liverpool. Which it is sunny now at the moment. The Alicante, the so it'll be Ryanair and then the EasyJet. So, so Ryanair 73. And then the EasyJet. <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you haven't visited this spot before, all the way over there, uh, before the expansion, then they get if they are going to get rid of it, do come and check them out down Oglet and Oglet Lane, they are really good. You can't if you want to nip the shop. What? You can nip the shop if you want to. Well, she only wants it. Yeah. So, I don't want to stay on the left. Yeah. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I have keys. No, give me keys. So, in a few moments' time, we are going to have this arrival from Alicante. The Ryanair 737800. Yeah. Yeah, so it must be lining up. Yeah, it's three here. So, about to enter finals now, is this Ryan right is just about to enter finals ah. on the ILS. So registration um, E I E M E. So the registration is E I E M N E M E. Ryan E M E. E I E M E. The two thousand feet. So, yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So if you do, anyone's interested and want to track planes, download Flight Radar, it is a good app. And it's always good to have tracked them while I'm live. Got a little plane first. And then the it's a Piper PA32. There's a Piper PA32. It's a 38 over here. 38, yeah. 38, yeah. 38. Registration GRVRM. Yeah, Ryanair. So the Ryanair Falcanti is on its finals, 1300 feet. Yeah, so it's some short finals now, the Ryanair.
will be from Alicante, Benidorm. Just us there. So, just up at less than a thousand feet now to Ryanair. So, enjoy this arrival, guys. Should get the blue, you're going out in an hour as well. How long did you come out in my for? So, well, I did say for the arrival of the uh, Avanti Air. Well, if that doesn't leave on time, like caught to what to, then I'll see what's up, where we're at then. So. Right there now, we're at 500 feet. Yeah, be nice to get the dash eight live. So, just see if that departs on time. If it does, then I'll wrap on that once it's land for the arrival. Go over and then try and get back down about, for about six of the. Uh, British Airways. There we go, arrival now, Ryanair coming in from Alicante. Watch out, man. So that was your Ryanair from Alicante, and then we'll have our next. So Next one now, next arrival. Yeah, so next arrival now is on short finals. Is the East Jeff from Palma de Mallorca. So, so G U Z T R, then A320, Easy Jet from Palma de Mallorca. Is that 1,400 feet? 1,325 feet. Yeah. He goes down it every time I say. G E Z T I. G E Z T I, yeah. Okay. Hi, Lossie Lou. Welcome to the stream as we are now. We're going to catch our next arrival at now. We've just had a Ryanair from Alicante. We've now got an easy jet from Mallorca. We did catch a Beluga 20 minutes ago. One time I it with one hand. Just go on the still there if you can. There. So our next arrival is easy jet. Thousand feet. Thousand feet. Yeah. Uh, and we are <laughs> and we are live streaming from the old mound down on Oglet Lane. A new spot. And then I'll be live tonight for half an hour for the British Airways. And then there won't be a live stream then till Bank Holiday Monday, the 6th of May, when they have a get together as well. So, if you, as I said, no one's doing nothing, got any plans for you, and you want to come and enjoy some planes for an hour, I'll be down most nearly all day. So, you're welcome. And we do have a big month next month, so. A couple of exciting live streams next month, very busy month. There we go, next arrival now, EasyJet 320 from Palma de Mallorca, A320. Nice landing. Lovely that. Just nice and smooth. That was a nice and smooth landing there from EasyJet, well done. And then we do just await our next departure or arrival now. We should have a Ryanair going out here about quarter to one, that's off to Ibiza. Wish I was on that Ibiza flight. <laughs> Love Ibiza. So, nice landing there. So we've got two Dreamliner flying over there from Manchester. Over there. <coughs> yeah, going over to Melbourne. Going off to Melbourne.
and our Emirates so we landed in Manchester and I put a video out and the pilot, I think one of the pilots said um, I think I was one of the pilots and said yeah we've got a hard landing and that was a blank after that. <laughs> yeah, there it is, uh. Tui Dreamliner from Manchester to Florida. Yeah, so, yeah, so Rob's just saying there about a video he went of when he hard landing of when he was on board the uh, A380. He just said earlier he flew a whiz air and they were terrible. Does not recommend them. Right, uh, to take off in 15 minutes. Right, so, so we've got our ne of our next departure in about 15 minutes time will be the Ryanair to Noch. And then followed by another Ryanair to Ibiza. And then it'll be the Ibiza flight. And then no more departures from 15 minutes. Uh, arrivals wise. Uh, arrivals wise you've got... In between that wait you've got... Uh, Faro, We've got, got an easy jet arrival from Faro. In half an hour. In half an hour's time. And then and the one and then air charter Scotland. In and then we've got an air charter in. Scotland coming in, in as well. In an hour and five minutes. So we'll we'll have like a little waiting period like an hour, like a yeah. twenty minute waiting period. But then we'll be back. And you got Dublin by Ryanair at two o'clock. And we've got Ryanair to Dublin, so yeah, roughly try and hold on for the uh, Avanti Dash 8 if it's on time. Yeah, then you got Ryanair to Belfast and end the show with uh, Avanti Air. Uh, All being well, then on games. Avanti Air about half two, quarter past two, but uh, if it's late, then I would be, I'll probably end the live or I'll uh, just record it, depending on it was late. Sometimes it seems to be late, sometimes at the minute. And then not bit British Airways tonight, which I'll be live for. Are you gonna Are you gonna stay for the two for the, the jet two hours? Or? What's that? Uh, if there's one in around there, that's yeah, there is. Uh, try and catch it the jet two. You've got the British Airways at six forty-five. Then ten minutes after that, you got the jet two. Yeah. Which I've seen the Lanzarote one around this morning, yeah. which went about half an hour late. So. Go on, Bradley, give us the Will P dance. Hey, so that is Bradley from the Plane Spotters doing the Will P dance there. There's a good follower of the channel and loves to dance. Go and subscribe to the Plane Spotters. In. Yeah. 25 likes, so it's starting to get a lot more likes now, which is good. It is nice. It's gone a bit warm now, so it is nice. Just as the wind can go down now, it'd be better. Yeah, just ease the wind, but that breeze is nice at times. Can't complain. It's not raining. <laughs> no, it's not raining now. So. Oh, Kev's Kev sending me a message. Oh, down a bit. Tell them all for me. Uh, <laughs> message, tell him to message. check his messages. He hasn't checked his messages for quite a while. Uh, Have you, Kev? Wherever he's watching, he's messaging on Facebook. Hmm. So we've got a couple of rain layers there. Got a few planes overhead. So six people watching anyway. How's everyone? What's your plans today? What have you been up to? Anyone get up to anything exciting over the weekend, guys? Any holidays? No. No. I wish. Hmm. For me, just working. Off yesterday, so I went to the airport. Then I airport today. 
what more could it, what else do I do? Must have something if that plane's holding there. Brad. No. Well, it's just sitting there like he's ejected. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see over there, we have got the Hampton Hotel, which I showed you the old ACC tower and the terminal build. Got a good view there of the hangars of like Liverpool flying, Skyforce and Keener, Ravener. And then we are in view with the new tower at Liverpool. Here. Just if the sky was a bit more clearer, we could get these overheads. So. So, shouldn't have long for the next arrival there, should we? So 15 minutes roughly around for our next arrival. The easy jet from Faro free ready. So 15 minutes out, it's the easy jet A320 from Faro, that'll be our next arrival. And the registration GEZTK. And then we're due to our Ryanair departure any moment now for knock, followed by the IB for a flight in 20 minutes. So, knock, in 10 minutes. so due, knock's due to depart in 10 minutes. It's the one that we've already caught today. E I E N E. Yeah. So, good afternoon, Carl Shield from Dublin. I'll be back over to Dublin soon. So, Dublin at some time soon, hopefully. Cool. Well, how's the weather anyway, Carl, in Dublin? What's it like in Dublin today? Not much difference, but yeah, it's probably a bit similar, yeah. Well, hi, Paul, welcome back. We are just awaiting this Ryanair departure now to knock, followed by the Ibiza flight. Sunny but windy, so it's a bit similar to us then. And then we're due out in about 15 minutes time the arrival of EasyJet from Faro, which is a good air force. It's a spot that I went there last month. Yeah, so it will be, yeah. Are you taking off, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That EME must have been the one that coming from Stockholm to go around. If, yeah, for those that are tuning in, do scroll back to the start of the stream. We did have a go around and we caught it. It was in Ryanair from Stockholm. So we did catch that. And we did catch it at the Beluga not long ago. Watching while waiting to go to the hospital. I hope everything's okay, Carl, and it's nothing too bad. Now, what they call the safety area for the runway on the right hand side, they've cleared all the land, haven't they? Yeah. Is that for the uh, solar farm? Must be, yeah. yeah. They cleared all the roots out and everything, you have yeah. really flattened it out. Yeah, so there is. You look at the end, them lights there a bit further down as we're walking down. They have scraped a lot of the land, so must be adding in more runway lights and solar panels for when the ex for the expansion of the airport. So, but the. Some of them are on quick turnarounds today, at least. So. Yeah. 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 Tune into yesterday's live. I was live in the terminal building. You'll see a lot of the improve, Im up, 
like redevelopment work that they've done and you know, all the new check-in desks and what new terminal building after they've done a bit of work so it was a really good buy. the planes or see the planes until they've gone through departures. I know, I would love to that. Can I help on here? Depends what you mean by that for. It, you can, I've got, got enough mods and admins at the moment, uh, but you can you can help in a way and that'll be by, you can share the stream, invite people, tell people about it because since I've hit 3k now and I'm working alongside, in a way, with airliners live and Mac Aviation they're supporting me in the channel by with their mods and admins by sharing the streams and helping each other like that way you could do that by sharing the streams inviting people leaving a like showing love and support in the chat that way because this channel is fastly growing and going a long way now so you'll notice a few things out well, you will notice a few things differently on the streams now. So, but uh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Just search for Plane Swan Mike right Live. I'd appreciate that. There's a plane in Vegas, Bowls. Uh, yeah, and also go and subscribe to my mate Bradley from the Plane Spotters there. Have a chat somewhere. Also, spotter Kyle, Mikey's always another mate. They're a couple of uh, followers at Mad Runs of us with great channels. You're fed up with YouTube, why? Right? What's up, Carl? What's anything? So I started streaming those that are watching and new and don't know about the channel for playing Strong Mike Live did start up in like 2021, I started streaming 2022, I've done a lot for the airport lately and yeah I normally stream mostly from Liverpool so we're mostly based at Liverpool, I do the odd trip when I can to Dublin, Heathrow, Manchester, Chester, there'll be more airports, Belfast. But most of our streams do come from Liverpool. At the moment we're streaming like twice, three times a week, but I'm bringing a lot more streams now. So, it is really good content, and this next one's a big month anyway for the channel. We're going live in Mac Aviation again. Got a mystery stream, we've got loads of live shows from Liverpool, we've got a live stream of the Airbus Captain and Pilot again. I did one last month or so ago. We're going to be going live together again next month. His name's Captain Mark from Airliners Live. Airport airline based captain at Manchester. And then blue from there. So I'm not growing and I'm only on YouTube for and I'm on YouTube for a year, so anyone's interested do go and check out Carl Shields channel. I do check bits and bobs out. So the idea of this channel is just getting Liverpool on their map, bringing as much content streams as we possible for Liverpool. Liverpool Airport do support us and check them, so... If you know, Liverpool is something different. An airplane overhead. We should be at, get a couple of arrivals and departures shortly, guys. So as I said, I will be live on this evening for the British Airways from about past six for half an hour or so. Um, but we are adding to the streams now, there's a lot of information in the chat, so the flight arrivals, flight departures, links to channels like the uh, subscribe to the plane spots, and subscribe to Kyle, uh, follow Mikey's Airways on Instagram, the links to the Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Twitter page for Liverpool Airport Speak All. So we'll be adding that to that. Most of the streams I do anyway. 
I do the odd one myself. But now we're gonna be at least a second person like Bradley or anyone. There will always be a second person alongside me now. Possible. So yeah, so big shout out to everyone who's hit the subscribe, like, comment, share over the last few weeks. It has been a good one, and you will start seeing a lot more lives and and more content. That's our next big step is 5k. That's the next milestone, along with. The so, where was it? I was at like 975 watch hours or sh views for the shorts. One second, that that's a three million, which is halfway there. I'll start getting the memberships. That's the next milestone. Now. So two minutes out now is our next arrival of an EasyJet A320 coming in from Faro, Aeroporto de Faro, to be precise. And our next departure is due out shortly at two o'clock. So we've got an arrival and departure coming up now, guys. Two thousand feet coming around the back of us. <laughs> yeah. So just gonna. Tip capture this arrival now of the EasyJet A320 coming in from Faro which is a good airport and if you've never seen any if you've never seen what Faro is like do go and check out my channel because I have just finished in the last couple of days all the content for that I had for Faro so that's up on the channel now and coming next week it's sometime in the week will be the me content that I've just got in the week from Manchester, so there's lots of exciting content to come from Manchester in the week. Airlinger say 330 goes to Faro. I know they do get the odd 330s. Here we go, next arrival. Easy Jet A 320 from Faro. Currently over Runcorn now, so as we are ten minutes away from it reaching two hours on the live, so it's been a busy two hours. All right, no worries. So. We'll just get you back on then in a minute after this then to say ta and a few things, so. You're in the chat anyway. Yeah. So, so after this easy jet, our guest of Bradley from the plane spotters will be leaving us, so. But he will still be in the chat. But do go over and subscribe to him. He's just starting out and he's got a lot of good content coming soon on his channel. Yeah, thousand feet now, guys. So any moment we'll have this easy jet from Faro, touching down. Are you here for an hour and a half? Uh, it, it, all being well. It, yeah, at least another hour or so. We'll see where, if that dash ape leaves on time. Yeah. And if it's late. 
Been flying for two hours forty-four. <laughs> That's a long flight, that. From far, yeah. From far. My mind was roughly around about that. Well, two hours forty-five at least. Two and a half roughly. So we've been flying a two hour and 45 minute flight from Faro. 500 feet. There he goes. Any moment now. Near it. Can hear it now, yeah. There we go, easy jet from Faro. When you go home, play some content or something. Yeah, I'll do it while I'm walking. Yeah, so let's go there and give a little wave. So our, one of our guests now, Bradley from the Plane Spotters, is going to try to go home now, but he will be in the chat. So yeah, I'll see you in a little. Yeah, I'll pass the eye first. <laughs> so yeah, that was Brad from the Plane Spotters. Who was our guest. Thanks for joining us, Brad. Chat. Don't forget to go over and subscribe. And yes, I'm sure you'll see Bradley on more streams again. Um, and yes, he will be posting some content soon on his channel. So, that was the easy jet from Faro that just touched down. And then we'll have our departure to knock shortly. Sunny day. It's a sunny now, yeah. I don't like the spot now here. blue sky now here at Liverpool. Due out any time now is our Ryanair departure to Knock, followed by the IB for flight in around about 10 minutes time. So, and then hopefully departing if it's on time in around about an hour's time, will be the dash straight from Guernsey for Urini, which we probably will wrap up on that if it's on time, but we'll see soon. So if you see the easy deck there, taxiing into the apron there, and onto stand. Just, just there.
something on the move. That'd be the Ryanair now. Noch is famous for the A380 getting smashed up. Hey? Noch, apparently. It was famous for the A380 being smashed up. Why, when did that happen, Carl? Can you give us a bit of a background? There's the Ryanair now coming on. So, our next departure is now on the taxi out now. The Ryanair 737 800 departing for Noch in Ireland. Uh, this one must be the... This probably will be the... Little red dot. It must be early then. Oh. So this is a Ryanair but it's shown up as IB for so. It was an Air France A380 that got smashed up at knock. So we've got a Ryanair on the taxi here. Ryanair RY R206. This probably will be the IB4 on there. So. Good near 23 knots. <laughs> yeah. He's early then. The yellow spring to shimmer so twelve forty five IB there. Yeah, so this will probably be the IB for one guys. This Ryanair off to IB there. Oh no. Airline and not now for a departure to Ibiza. Unusual. Unusual for that Ryanair to be late to Dublin, isn't it? Yeah, it's a knock, yeah. Or knock, wherever. That was a knock. There's a Dublin one. It's coming with 1230 on time. I was on that flight to Ibiza. Be a lot of wood there. Yeah. You smell the yeah, fumes now, can't you? Oh, l lovely smell of jet fuel. I had a plane overhead. Yeah, it's just going over. Oh, that saws were on. So that was a Ryanair off to Ibiza. Private jet or something like that. Yeah, they're just off to IB because he's banking the left. I can't see him. <laughs> 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 
Let's have a look over that tower. Oh yeah, now I see yeah. So yeah, big fat bees in the chat there. The fine sponsors, Bradley. Thanks for having me, Mikey. Lad. No worries, Brad. Thanks for coming on. And guys, go and subscribe because he's a great lad anyway. And yeah, he's mostly on our streams now and again. So we have just had the Ryanair that's just departed to Ibiza. Five minutes early, five minutes before schedule. They must have been, they must have been ready and raring to go. So they've given that five minutes spell before. Three thousand feet now from the Ryanair to uh, Ibiza. Yeah, three thousand. Yeah. I'll be like that if that was me on the but saying now I'll be like let's tell you should be con some content coming soon yeah and yeah Braddy will be bringing a show of his own soon on my channel doing it himself and I'll be in the background anyway so I'll set a date for that just giving him the chance to do one like this on my, for him doing it channel just to uh, help show him how to do and give him an experience and he can have a little practice run himself almost home already got Brad yeah uh, now you and your mum have gone the weather's warmed up it's a lot warmer now I see with the Ryan here for Dublin and not because it's only about half an hour an hour. There's no point them rushing in and rushing out, is there really? Unless you've got one. I like to land on runway. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> the best. <laughs> I love it, Brad. He's about to land on the runway. It's my best. <laughs> for real. Get it on the telly or the bit. Review to Brad. Yeah. If you stay in the chat till the end anyway, it just shows that you're still the guest the guest for the stream keep if you stay until the end. Uh, yeah. You're getting the sunbed out in a minute, it's getting so yeah. sunny. Get yeah. the sunbeds, get the beers, get a barbecue go on the go. Yeah. Ideal. <laughs> Something like that we will do one day in the future at the mound or oh, maybe have a get together one day in the summer maybe the dead of the meal deal and break make a little pack lunch up and we'll all have a little uh, get together day something to do in the future sounds good to me that's all good yeah no one else does it that's what i just want to look into in the channel now just improving things like Bring a Tesco meal deal, ID, scan it, and Oh, there's a supermarket. <laughs> supermarket, I shop there as well. Or you can always nip to Greg's at the airport if you pass them by the terminal, just pull up to the one side, uh, Greg's, and then make your way down the mountain is where you do it. Super fried chicken wrap sounds nice. We've got Subway at Morrison's. And Sayers. Sayers, yeah. Those wraps are the best ones, yes, yeah, stuff and fries. Yeah. Mm, nice barbecue, second piece of me here. 
Yeah, I think everyone does that, don't you? See, it all talk about food. Especially when you watch airlines live, you always get it. Ham and pineapple on pizza. Pineapple, yeah, I'll take it. Don't start talking about water because then you want to go to us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Amy, I've had all my uh, merchandise on the way. From my man, I said, hey, I had to go get ready for football tonight. No worries, bad. You can pop in and out anyway when you can. So, good luck at 40, eh? Yeah, so the knock is ping and I was just waiting for it. The knock departure with Ryanair. Eh? I've actually been up in that plane many years ago. Just a little Hi Neil Jones, welcome to the stream, live from Liverpool Live for the next hour or hour and a half. All being well. With the uh, Avantia Urini Dash 8 on time. But it has been a good stream. I stream like three times a week roughly at the moment from Liverpool. We've got one tonight for a half an hour live with the sunset, hopefully, and the two jet two one of the jet two arrivals. Quarter past six, and then my next live stream will be Bank Holiday Monday. It's a chance for a get together as well. So, if you're local to Liverpool, bring yourself a meal deal from a shop or a pack lunch and enjoy some spotting with me as I will be live streaming it also. That's from about 12 o'clock. We'll have a nice few hours get together at Bank Holiday if you're doing nothing. Spotters, that's my mate who's just left us. And then spotted Kyle, who's who was in the chat area. Follow my mate Mikey on Instagram. Mikey, there he is. Oh, that wind. Not my little one, it's my I haven't seen any planes flying over for a while. No, I think that's not me. Uh, so the knocks has been pushed back in. That plane going there, swaying, look. That raven is being blowing them out there. Oh, welcome, Neil. So I'll try if that's one, but if it's low air, it's just not a shocker. But that's sun. Yeah, so we are due to blue, get back out from Chester shortly in around about half an hour. So, Simon, we will see it flying over us, over the airport. We caught it earlier on. We have 28 likes, can we get to 30? Well, there's one there. Oh, yeah. So we have got a good...
rice up there from 36,000 feet. Yeah. Or Dublin to Naples. Yeah. Which was Orion Air, which was Dublin to Naples. And we, I, we can now see Orion Air push back. Just see the tail of it now. Naples to Dublin there. 36,000 feet. At 36,000 feet. Yeah, it's 380 kilo, or 380 PTS. Yeah, 380 knots, and we've got a Ryanair now, which is pushed back. This will be the 737 to knock. Maybe. Yeah, so the knock is on the way out. So that'll be our next departure in a few minutes. Just now on the taxi out, the Ryanair to knock. The 7 3. Yeah, she's taxiing. Right. This one's in. Yeah. Big Little to knock. Taxi now. Yeah. So we've got the Ryan here now to knock on the taxi. Big shout out to Jimmy Jazz tuning in. Hello. As we now got Ryan here on the taxi out for knock. We are live from the old mound at Down Oglet Lane. So we've got the other mound there. But we're on. A bit further back, we're on the old mound, so we are literally near the farmer's field, and just down there is the path and the ramp, and you walk down there, and you it takes you down to the shore, to the water, so you can look across the Mersey. So we're on the old mound. for Knock Island West Knock. Half an hour late. Yeah, half an hour late this departure guys. Plane, but it's only a short flight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. As I said, being a short flight, I don't think they they rush, do they? Because he just he'll get there now. They'll empty the plane, and then they'll probably bring up the the, the flight back. So he'll be back in a good hour or two. He should be back in around about two hours. So. The line on it now, the Ryanair to knock. Yeah, it's three o'clock. I think it's due back here. Yeah, so it's due back here, then about two hours' time. This uh, departure now, this is off to knock. We had the Alicante departure before. Well, the arrival before from Alicante. There she goes. There she goes, and off to knock.
back here all right jerry jazz no jerry jazz on the couch capitalized no lucky legs oh lucky legs a couple of planes there Yeah, one's going to that way towards London. Dublin to Frankfurt towards London. So we've got That's more or less We've got one to Frankfurt and then we've got another one looks like it's heading down to sticking areas or Spain. Yeah, the double one to Frankfurt. And then we've got another one there. Big shout out to Mike Mike's mate. This Great fella in the background is Rob Sue's a follower. Also a follower of Cash Cab. Just popped down to say hello. We did have we have about eight before Bradley from the plane spot as he's gone now. So yeah. If they to support you might eat. He's a supporter. Yeah. So, you are the main man. <laughs> the main man for Liverpool Airport, yeah. to see the airport down there in that claim I thought over there when he took the rush before I was like what? Yeah when I looked I was like that was all the way around yeah they cleaned it so good yeah. oh, oh. especially down this passage here yes yeah. so the airports are doing a lot of work with the expansion and the clean off around the area so I think a lot of volunteers you know yeah so do take your rubbish home guys it's something I did start off a while back and now the airports are picking up on it which is good as well as now having a second guest on doing these lives over here. and starting meets and greets now so it, there is a get together on the 6th of May guys so yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Jazz is right Rob <laughs> yeah So far to you, everyone that's watched today so far. When's the next arrival? Uh, should be soon. I'll check on. We get, we are getting it quite as well as that. It, 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 I don't know, we're looking around another hour for the next arrival. So. That. We'll have a few raven ears anyway and pipers from the flying school. A few overheads when I can see them. We might have the beluga shortly because that's due out soon. We've got, oh, we've got about half an hour, 40 minutes for our next departure, which is an easy jet to Larnaca, Cyprus. Liverpool to Knock is an hour's flight. It's about an hour here. Yeah. Roughly just bang on an hour. Easy just out of power. 
But I don't mind when it's a nice day, a bit of freeze, I don't mind waiting a little bit. Are you gonna watch some streams like I watched that living at last you get a few you know, like oh when you get them all moaning and it's like oh nice still I was quiet, I don't mind holding on. I might get one of them. So that's been a quite a few encounters. I'm a little raven here coming back around. Twelve hundred feet. Is it even here? Or even here, twelve hundred feet. I tell you what, you get chucked about quite a bit in that when it's windy. Oh. I can imagine I had one at Dublin last year or the year before, and it was crazy. But I loved it. Loved the experience. Of it. How bright white them clouds are. Never seen anything like this, guys. For a pair of clouds, I'm out. Now that is a picture. And then you just look at that cloud there, and it's got a bit of grey in it. That one's just plain white. Airport should have bins in the spotted area. They have got one bin on the car park, which does get used, but most of the rubbish goes on the floor. They did a clear out the other day, the wombles in there. They've got about five or six bags and they leave it at Dungeon Lane then for the council to pick up. We've got an overhead there. So just catching her overhead there. Uh, Tilly is that? So that's a su that's the Sun Express seven three seven eight hundred going from Dublin to Antalya. At thirty five thousand feet. At thirty five thousand feet. So at the moment we are kind of getting being lucky here with the sky now. We are catching a lot of the Dublin flights. So. It just fills up the gap, as I said to those last week on the stream. People say, oh, it's quiet, it's quiet, there's no flights. I, it doesn't bother. I know Liverpool's quiet, but just haven't. This is what I like about my streams and bringing from Liverpool because you do get other streamers, they do good streams. They, they do do good streams. Like, oh, it's too quiet, it's too quiet. I don't mind it being quiet. Just capturing, like you're seeing now, this raven air, um, which is being battered about. I just don't leave the camera like that, sitting like that. I'm moving it around, showing you the overheads, what I can, and just doing a little talk. So that's why I, what I bring to the channel. So we might have half an hour now for our next flight. I'm just catching these Dublin flights now and these flying lessons. I just fill the gap, even if it's not a Liverpool flight. Showing you the Beluga, yeah, and whatever overheads I can get. So.
every day I've got one bin anyway, Carl. And it does get used sometimes. We've got another overhead there, guys. Oh, yeah. So, that's another flight. It's a beautiful day for flying. Looks like an easy jet or something. Sorry. It's uh, Belfast to London. Couldn't be flying at 35,000 feet. So, it's an easy jet flight from Belfast to London. So we've got a Belfast flight there. So it's an A319. So it's an A319. So them other oh, streamers here, they do their streams different to mine. Look at what I've been on mine, getting the overheads in these quiet spells. Yeah, it's in, isn't it? Especially yeah. the, the uh, clouds are clear. I love it when it's like this and I'm streaming. Yeah. So I saying on the last couple of streams of what's of theirs, when the, the beluga's gone off, got uh -huh. gone over, they've, they've just seen it going through the clouds, they haven't seen it properly like I have. <laughs> I think I'm just a lucky one. So that was a Belfast to London EasyJet flight, A319. It'd be a shame when EasyJet get rid of all of them. A319, I do like them. But there's 320, for something more than 320, I don't know why. Because it's more comfortable than the With that. 319, it was just like. A bit. That, that helicopter over there me a pause at 200 feet. Yeah. We've got a few helicopters as well, we never know, we might get one, we might not, we'll see. We have got our next departure in uh, oh, 20 so minutes time or whatever. Off to Larnica. We should have the Ryanair arrival shortly from Dublin, which is due in around 2. We have a quarter to so we'll see. We are just catching some out overheads. Eight people watching for on this quite as well, ten people on this one. It's quite uh, impressive. Uh, makes it worth standing here. <laughs> a bit cold and chilly, but uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the stream. We've been live for two and a half hours already. Literally sat on the floor, sat on the floor now, just to get you this shot of the overhead. Where's it gone now? And the one you're looking at is a Dublin to, to see the to say, thirty-six thousand feet. We got a Dublin flight there. Trieste. Dublin to Trieste or Trier in France. 
Go away, that for this. So that was another Dublin flight. I think I'm spotting out Liverpool and Dublin today. Live Liverpool Airport live. Also Dublin live. <laughs> <laughs> so what I love about living at this. Now I rate Mikey as a who lives in Crosby. He gets some because he's on the coastline. He's on the coastline for Southport and Crosby. But he gets you over to Dublin where he's like, I'd love to be where you are here. We're getting all these Dublin and Manchester. So there's a Raven here coming back in for another go. Doing a flying lesson. Coming into Dublin Pool Airport. <laughs> Dublin Pool. <laughs> Yeah. Fell on the gas. He didn't even touch the ground then. What should do say hello in the chat on it? If you've got any questions, I'll answer them. What let you know what you're up to today. Anyone up to anything nice? Nothing better than coming down to the airport. So overhead we do have the Logan Air from Heathrow to Ireland Man, which is one that the aircraft it is is LMTA, the registration. And I caught it this morning going off to uh, off to the Ireland Man from Liverpool. So it's been to Liverpool to the Ireland Man and Ireland Man to Heath Heathrow back to the Ireland Man. Over there, in there, somewhere. Going down the Mersey, eighteen thousand feet. You're going down the Mersey. You probably won't see it anyway, cause the under the plane, the belly's blue. So, yeah. but we are live from the old airport mound anyway, down Oglet Lane. The end of 27, which is good for the arrivals. This spot, it's good for the departures lining up. But you've got a closer one, better on the back corner there. But we've come to the old one of the older mounds. Manchester, isn't it? Manchester's quiet, I haven't seen any of their departures yet. We've got a, just another overhead there, looking like an Aer Lingus or a 350 or 330, whatever. Yeah, just going over Tarbot and Halewood.
29 legs. Right, so, hey, keep that one off. That's the side. That's the side. This, no, they say the, long, the longer I can stay alive, the better. I'll, be, I'll do the watch hours now. That's a nice day for it. Like the, the, most of it. the channel views now, it's like it keeps going up all the time. At the moment, when it, before I went live, it was like 135.7k people viewing the channel, and then the watch hours are like 1.1.5k. Uh -huh. So they are going up. It's like uh, eligibility now, it's like watch public watch hours, and then like short views, so sh the views for the shorts. That was at like 9. Seven one or something, and I need three thousand million views. Once I've got that three thousand, I'll get the uh, memberships and super chats. Oh, I do, and the what that will be the it. And then after that, the next step is like roughly about the same. I think it was three million. That was for something else. So that was like for the ad YouTube ads and payments from that. So they're the next steps. For the next one, that was like five k subs. There's another overhead. So we are getting quite a few overheads, but the best I can. And alongside me is us. another guest. So we've got two guests today. Well, alongside me now is Rob C. Anyway, he's a follower, a new follower of the channel. You do see him in the chat sometimes. Anywhere near us is a Farrow to Edinburgh. That must be what that one there that I've just yeah. caught. So, one of them overheads there was Farrow to Edinburgh 36, at 36,000. He's not leaving here again. Yeah, I liked Farrow last month. It was good for spotting because I caught a couple of liveries and planes that I didn't. But for a whole holiday, unless I went to Albuquerque, I don't really recommend Faro. Good job I went at the right time because they they they're on mayhem at the minute with their uh, security in the airport. Security's been terrible, and right. I thought it would be the way the week we had as well. Just the queues, for, literally, because it's only a small airport, so it's smaller than Liverpool. There's something like Chester, Ooh. just a small airport. And then it's a lot of planes, though, isn't it? Literally, you're like, know. it's like being. I had a hotel there, and they had a pool on the roof. So I was just a bit like a, a, pool, a, a bit like a by. tunnel with two lanes. So one lane, one sat like it was split in half in the, the corridor. So it was like on one, it, like if you've ever been to Dublin Airport, or if you haven't anyway, it was like. Going down one side, you got the arrivals, and coming down the other side, you're walking for the departures to the plane. So you literally, I, as you're walking for the departures, the arrivals are walking past you. It's that small, and the security is terrible. And the border force. And they were questioning us what flight have you got off, where are you, when are you flying back, who did you fly? So it was a nightmare. But it was a good. That was. The arrivals and departures for the border force and that. About that, the terminal building was massive, loads of cafes and check in desks. The oh. is still. still. No we wrong, what's this? Is, is he pinging? Normally they no, ping about an hour or so before. <laughs> well, I think he was due out about half one quarter to two. So we've just hit 30 likes, so thank you very much. If you have missed the, the, the stream so far, you can watch it back. We did have Bradley on earlier on talking about his channel. We had Rob Seuss give us a few good stories about the Concorde here and the 74, the C35s. And we had a little chat about Liverpool Airport itself. Yeah, there are three different towers, haven't they? In fact, it's four really, because he started off with um, a farmer's barn, didn't he? Yeah. Was it in the early 1900s? Yeah. So you've got the new tower, which we can see here. We've got the old one, which is just there. Plus, you've got the old, the other one, which you can still see from that tower, apparently, onto this airport. But it's a hotel now. But I will 
go around the back of there sometime soon and record some videos because you've got some today if you want. Do that in the week anyway. It does seem that anyway. I don't know around there anyway. Yeah. Now see I've got an old fire engine from Liverpool Airport still parked up on the at the back of that hotel and a couple of planes that are still on show there. So I'll go and record a video one day there. And it's a, at some point go down to Street Hall anyway, so I could go just walk up from Street Hall when I go there in the week. But, you know. I said I would it's open there, the back gate or something. Yeah. yeah. You can the thing is, if you sit in your car down there, you gotta you gotta go to the reception, and let them know, so mm. that you don't get booted. Yeah. I believe. We've also got the old airport runway as well there, so that's a speak hall. So when I'm bringing content through from speak hall, there'll be a lot from there. A raven air from the background. We've got eleven in. Got a nice big. We've got a small plane from Geneva to Liverpool plane. Big, big bird there. It's a nice jiggle. Geneva Airport, fly it So we have now got our next arrival, which is on short finals. It's the Air Charter. It's the Air Charter Scotland Embraer Freighter 600 DAB, and it's coming in from Geneva. So on short finals now is this lovely air charter Scotland. 13,000 feet. Yeah, 13,000, thanks for Coming in from Geneva Lever, as people like some people like to call it Geneva Lever. Don't know why, but hey ho. Two hours, 45 minutes, so we're approaching three hours, so. By the time we end this, in about an hour or so, time should be like three and a half hours, which is not bad. We well, have streams are getting longer now. Malaga is a good air force, and Malaga's on the list. I like Gibraltar. I don't believe that's good, I want to go there. I was walking across the runway there, and uh, I stopped to take some pictures and videos and whatever. And next week the loudspeaker came on, he asked me to move on. <laughs> he had a plane coming into land, yeah. which is uh, unusual. <laughs> Madeira's good, I'd like to go to Madeira. Being bad, I don't know what's going on, I did that on the cruise. Six hundred feet, this private one. A lovely air chart of Scotland. Get out the way, bird. We don't want a bird strike. Four hundred feet. Uh, so we're gonna yeah. catch this, especially in this blue light the sky now and this lovely little sunshine. We're gonna catch this lovely stunning arrival of the Embraer Prater. Six hundred coming in from Geneva. This is Air Charter Scotland. Which will now go and pop, go on taxi to the flying school apron. And then we'll have our Ryanair arrival shortly from Dublin. And hopefully any time due out is this Larnaca flight with EasyJet. Be one of these easy jets. I'll be parked up there. Not one of them, no doubt. Just think about the picture on the camera there. 
this when I've got it zoomed right in, all zoomed out. It's just a beautiful picture. Just took a screenshot. <laughs> I'm doing the Guernsey fight. Ah, oh, yeah. Guernsey is good, you know. It looks yeah, good. ATR, yeah, and what they get there is good. All their Dornias, Urini, a lot of their ATRs, Blue Island, they get a few cargo there, which is good. And it's a good little airport. The roads are very, very narrow over there. I don't think I got out of their gear. Yeah, you go around the corner off to take it in, in the high car and then uh, uh, you come back down to second. Go into the corner or something. It's crazy, you know. Tiny little lanes. And uh, when I went to hire the car, a few years ago now, she said £36. I thought, well, that sounds a bit expensive for it. She said, but you get a full tank of fuel and you don't have no fuel in it. Yeah, see, that is I thought, well, that, that, that's good, that, you know. You know, high car and use all the fuel you want, and of course, driving down Jersey, I realised you couldn't get very far on all these country lanes. So you'd have to use, I don't know, five, ten pounds worth of pay fuel anyway. So it probably works out just as cheap. Uh, it was Enterprise as well, they, they dropped it off the mm. hotel. Keeping us entertained. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what used to be down here a few years ago as well. Loads of rabbits. There was rabbits everywhere. I've seen two last week at Manchester. In the south side. This, place, this area here was absolutely cool. Must have been breeding all the time. So we have got. The sailingus there flying over. Oh, yeah. Go from Nottingham to Belfast. Currently at 14,000 feet. So we've got an airlingus ATR there going from East Midlands up to Belfast. Currently been flying for 18 minutes. And so far, so that's 20 minute flights. Uh, and just as you can see there, just after the landing a few minutes ago, is this a chopper Scotland, which just taxiing back to the apron at the flying school. All the people that live at the top of Western Avenue where huh. everyone dumps the cars, don't they? Yeah, it's disgusting that. Uh. It's, uh, I mean, you went past the other day or yesterday and it was absolutely chock a block with cars there. So if you had a house there, you'd rest in there, you wouldn't be uh, very happy. Yeah.
lived down there a couple of years ago, I was talking about Western Avenue, somebody got really fed up and he got a load of cellophane and wrapped it around the car. I know every now and again they go out and ticket them all, but uh, you know, you ticket in them, but the next lot they come along then, don't they? Really see all these pieces. But uh, if they were to ticket everyone, they'd make a fortune. Mm -hmm. They'd be very popular, but they'd make a fortune, are So the uh, charts are just shutting down right now. Dublin to Liverpool, queuing at 2 o'clock. Uh, it's currently at 3,000 feet. Uh, I'm flying over the centre of Liverpool. So it's on the way in now. So we have got this arrival now coming in of the Ryanair 737 800 coming in from Dublin. So that's a few minutes out now. That'll be on the finals in a few, well, two minutes. So we've got our next arrival coming off now from Dublin. Near 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet, so uh, not far. Five for twenty seven minutes. Mm -hmm. There's only a quick flight doubling this course. Now I don't know what's going on down the end of that roadway down there, but the, you know when you go down the control tower, the gates are open. Mm -hmm. And these big trucks go through all the time. How are we doing all this? Probably uh, doing the underground or something. Looks like some massive big cloud there. Well, you've got a couple of hours, it's all probably the internet. Um, We've got this Raven Air again, and then just on short finals now will be it's a Ryanair from Dublin. Yeah, she's turning slightly. So we've got Ryanair on short finals from Dublin.
beluga's back in here. Yeah, I can see it. And we do now have the beluga, which has just left Chester and is on the way to Hamburg. So the, the beluga is now coming back over our heads. We caught it earlier, and now we're catching it again, the Airbus Beluga XL. That's just departed Chester and it's going to come right over us. Just looked it over there then, and then I seen it. Yeah, oh. I kept on checking it, but uh, so it's got up quite quick there. So we've got this Airbus Beluga departing to Bremen, and then we've got the Ryanair, which is now behind us on short finals from Dublin. Coming right over us, yeah, yeah. head on. I'll focus on this beluga, get the Ryanair as well. We've got this Airbus beluga now, which is literally just about to come over our heads closer. Is that you, Chevy? You're watching us. <laughs> I haven't seen him in the chat yet. This is a joint custody. Wow. Just look at that. There we go, guys. I'm trying my best to get it. There we go. The Airbus Beluga XL on its way to Bremen. Literally right over our heads. So that was the Airbus Beluga XL from Hawarden up to uh, Bremen. And I do sorry for, for that uh, losing the focus there. We do now have Ryan here from Dublin on short finals, wherever it is. I can hear it now. We have just gone past three hours. We have got an easy jet that's just pushed back, so that should be the Larnaca flight. Dublin to Liverpool, 450 feet, so yeah. it should be here any second. Well, that was a nice catch of the Beluga. Yeah, nice blue sky is ideal. We go Ryanair from Dublin. Looks oh, good on the camera as well. I'm not sure whether I should say it's not. We changed the shift to the ATC. <laughs> For what? Because they're playing, you know, the posh cars going in, posh cars going in. Uh, 
there's over head there. Mm. We did have a little overhead there as well, passing over when we at the time we had the beluga. Easy jets push back. Another overhead behind. So we've just got another overhead shot there. And we've now got the easy jet on the taxi. On the taxi out is an easy jet. And any time now, we should have be leaving Guernsey, should be the Dash 8. But we'll see what happens. Another overhead there. Let's go to Scotland, that one. should be in the sky right now. So we have got an easy job on the taxi out guys, which is off to Tenerife at 20 Neo, 19. I'm saying 20. It's the only ones I have coming. So this is easy jets off to Tenerife. Tenerife Souf. Oh, there's a virgin. So overhead guys. We've got the Virgin Atlantic A350 by the looks of it going off to America. Manchester to Orlando. A350 1041. So this is the Virgin Atlantic A350 1000 off to Orlando from Manchester. Currently 11,000 feet. So it's at 11,000 feet and you can hear that lovely roar from it. Clear skies. A lovely blue sky for that. So, that was your Virgin Atlantic A350. Manchester to Orlando. The A350 1000. Oh. Playing someone like my life will be on that one day. In, the, in years to come. That was a good catch. So I just turned on the seat. <laughs> that was a good catch as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, we knocked it. I knocked the tripod over. See, was he spinning around up that bloody plane? Get myself tangled up. Edit that bit, ignore that bit. Now we've got this easy jet lining up on the run, about to line up for its departure to Tenerife. No, I'm glad. Uh, is it? This one's Tenerife. Tenerife. You must have got mixed up there. So, the correction this easy jet's off to Larnaca. Actually, funny enough. Yeah, it must be Larnaca, then it's going to Tenerife. So this one's going to Larnaca, the next one, that's the next easy jet to depart in five minutes time is off to Tenerife. So this one's off to Larnaca. That's because we've got the easy jet to Tenerife two out as well. Yeah. Tenerife one, there's nothing, not, nothing backed up yet. Either. No, lining up now, easy jet for Larnaca, Cyprus. And she's off. It's, you want to see that it's shining on here? Beautiful. It just looks good on the camera. Okay, well, you can't beat that, can you? Seeing the light on it? Oh, yeah. uh, Absolutely superb. You 
get any better than that, look at it. Beautiful. Especially on this channel. <laughs> living at large, so he's a good streamer, but he only does mornings. I don't know. I think everyone has to raise them. Yeah, but between like uh, 6 in the morning and 9 o'clock, that's like about 20, 20 fights taking off. Mm. Now it's all very well to take off over the uh, wiggle and that, but to take off over hail, everyone gets it early week, of course, don't they? I, um, you know, because you need better place to, there's a lot of planes for us, I'd like to come down and see the planes, there's probably a load on the hump over there, there's also, yeah, there's probably a few more at the end of Ogilvy Lane there, mm -hmm. and it, it, it'd just be good if you build some kind of tower, uh, so you had a better viewing place and everyone had, you know, maybe some kind of cover as well, like they did um, in Speak years ago, when it was... So you, you sat in the terminal watching the planes taking on off. There's something that probably will do. Just had that easy jet there departing for Larnaca. And our next one should be on the way out shortly off to the Tenerife. That's that Raven Air taking off again. And there's another Raven Air taking off. He's probably done that many loops around, probably needs to come in for fuel. Yeah. <laughs> Just as the easy get now, it does go over the He's waiting for the Larnica to go, I think. And uh, probably can clear them so I can Larnica is turned over towards Liverpool. Yeah. There you are, it's not these got cleared and just as the easy jet climbs out with the Raven Air going out. 30, past 30 likes. No ideal. Amazing, thank you I guys. I to you that, Mikey. It wasn't for you. Mm. Just mm. think, people, 30 people sitting at home having their dinner watching, watching this. Mm. I'll tell you what, though, it's not a bad day. The wind's dropped a little bit, the sun's out. Mm. The weather looked bad yesterday, but I thought it was alright. Bit of rain, bit of that wind though, that was about it. Oh, okay, yeah, so there's... Just as the easy jet's climbing out over the, over the uh, sailings. And going over to Larnaca. 5,100 feet. About to go over Warrington. So, 31 makes up fast. Three, four, five, you want. That Tenerife has been popping up yet. Mm. Let's see if There's another overhead there. It does say for the Tenerife flight, it's taking up at 13.55 uh, on time. No sign of it backing up yet. With a big overhead there, guys. Oh, yeah. The sounds. There's the engine. Oh, Chicago. Oh. Chicago plane, 747. So that plane there, guys, I was just... I've just showed you there. Let's see if I can get it back on. It's a 747. The Queen of the Skies, a 747 going from Amsterdam Schiphol over to Chicago. So we've caught the Beluga, we've caught a load of Ryanair's Easy Jets, we've caught the A350, and now we've just caught a 747. You're doing well to spot that, 30,000 feet. That's how clear the skies are today. Just about see it. See it. But when, when I do zoom in, it does go a bit blurry, but you can still just about meet. see the flame. Well, what you need to do like, is get uh, some advice a bit uh, live and get a uh, camera. I'm down to it at some point. That'd be excellent. The one uh, there, the RVP and the pilot's waving. 
Adam from Mac AV, so when he comes down next one, please let me do the stream on, on his camera. I do. So I'll be able to use his phone in the background. They're alive for a good four or five hours. I do. That's the 6th of June, the 6th of May, is it? The 6th of May, I'm doing on my phone over at the mound. That's like a little get together as well. Uh, the 4th of June, I'm do I'll be down here for 6 a.m. going live. But Mac <laughs> Aviation's coming down. I've given him a load of dates that I'm off through, right through May. Well, some of them he's it's on like streaming. He's probably streaming on days and he would working and having days off with family. But it's more likely going to be a Sunday. More like probably Sunday afternoon about this time. We'll have jets, so a couple of jets who's around dinner time. So. Oh, we need now is an A380. Oh, very nice. Yeah, I've done a foot. I've done both recently, the last few months. Uh, I'd rather do a 14 hour flight on an economy on an A380 than a 3 hour flight on a whiz. Oh, uh, yeah. Well done, we all. The seats are wider and they're nice and comfortable. You get the screens. The only thing about it would be left to buy you know, when we were leaving it. Uh, everybody else's screen was on, but all the ones that I was on in there around they were all off. So I was. I'm a lot of way with a lot of stewardesses and nothing seemed to be happening. And just before we took off and the engine started, uh, one came up to me and said, You've been working out, working on it underneath and they got it going now. So well, it's not going yet. And then just before we started, the engines bang and came on. I thought, You know, seven, eight hour flight on this. I'm so glad they uh, said it came on. Six feet up, like what I'm saying, not 32. Good, after, good afternoon from a very sunny and beautiful Liverpool Air Force. Right at the start of the stream, we had a bit of rain, stormy clouds, but now it's cleared up and it's a beautiful afternoon. It's a beautiful day for spotting, a beautiful day for flying. We are at the old Oglet Mound at 27. We have just caused a 747 and the Beluga. And the A350 1000 out of Manchester for Orlando. You get it all on this channel? Yeah. <laughs> Might be quiet, but I'm catching what I can overhead. I'm filling up the gaps. Just see the likes of Ch Prestat and Real Chester Harden, Ellesmere Port. You've got a good view of you can see Harden from here. Of where the home of the Beluga is. You get everything on this channel, guys. Including the sun. Yeah, it comes the sun. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. I might say on the title, guys, Liverpool Airport Live. If you go back about half an hour ago, it was Liverpool, Liverpool Pool, Liverpool and Dublin Live. We had loads of Dublin flights. We had flights coming in from Dublin, going up to Dublin, and we had Dublin overhead. Dublin Pool. Two o'clock. So we've got four and a half hours before that blue, that not blue, get the air that British Airways comes in. Any point going home? <laughs> so walk all the way back down. Set yourself up a nice little bed behind the bushes there. Yeah. I hear. 
Frank Fair to Dublin, 40,000 feet, somewhere in that area. Which you'll probably see. Uh, nothing else, so if the flight lead I can see there. So. That's at their old favourite, the Raven Air is going round again. Hi. <laughs> that fills up the gap. Oh, there it is, I've got it now. So we've got a nice little overhead there, guys, from Frankfurt to Dublin. So we did have a Dublin there. And now we have got this second easy jet that has us pushed back for Tenerife. So the easy jet has now pushed back for Tenerife. Tenerife tenors. Well, we get plastered again by Ravenair. I reckon I could do that. So, so, so keep going, lads. Keep going. <laughs> There's another overhead, just above the tree. So we've got a Ryanair just From London to Dublin, there's a Ryanair. I hear that Tenerife plane warming up. So we do have this easy jet on the taxi out in a few moments' time. It's start pushback, it's starting off. Just can hear the engines now. Mm. Starting up the engines, get them revving. <laughs> The only other one you can see from overhead might be uh, Inverness to Bristol. Couldn't it? There's your one to have feet. Easy jet. Correct. Easy jet from Inverness to Bristol. Have you got some eyesight on you? Got me big binoculars on there as well. Yeah. Well, the trouble is, a little thing like that takes ages to spot them with the binoculars. Probably be past soon. Which is due in shortly, guys. The you fancy uh, from Guernsey. For A350 or A330 behind us. So, overhead, guys, from Manchester, we do have another Virgin Atlantic. Manchester to New York, A330. Which, which is a Virgin Atlantic A330. 
departing Manchester to New York, JFK, where they had an incident yesterday with an, a virgin with a car. And on the taxi, yeah, we've got this easy jet for Tenerife. We'll stick on the Virgin for a moment. This is the Virgin Atlantic A330 from Manchester. Going to JFK in New York. New York! And on the taxi up now is the easy jet for Tenerife. Where would you rather go, guys, you want to watch it? Tenerife? Or New York. I think this time of year I'd rather go to Tenerife. Uh -huh. Most of the year I wouldn't mind going to New York again. I'd go to Eva. Just flip me in half, I can do both. Yeah. Put you in half. Yeah, cut me in half. Just flip me in put me, flip me in half. And when we land in Tenors, if it's red hot there, I'll stay there and wait for that the New York flight to land. But if it's hotter in New York, then I'll just send the other half away to New York. I went to New York, I think, in March or April. I was frozen. So you got another overhead there, guys. I'm not sure what it is, but... We've got the easy jet. London to Dublin, uh, London, BA. London to Dublin, British Airways. 36,000. The flagship of England and the UK. Which uh, I love British Airways. They're so good. And just think, as we look at that British Airways now, in around about four hours' time, we will have one of them on the ground at Liverpool. It's only Raven Air again. I've seen enough of that. Oh. I think there's two Raven Airs broken down. There's one before, and that. It's like he landed in one, and now they took the other one out. There's the other loads, are they? So, just about to line off. Is it the easy jet? Going to Tenerife. Lining up now is the easy jet for Tenerife South. Another overhead there. Looks like a jet too. Oh, it's yeah. close. I always like Jet 2 because you can see, I can see the orange and they've got orange on the holiday delivery. Jet 2. You can see the orange, it's that bright. Here we go, and just about to start its roll on 27. There's the, this easy jet off to Tenerife. After we've got one going over our heads. Otherwise we were singing yesterday, come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly with me, remember the airline? Yeah. The sky's getting clearer and clearer. Ring is here. Yeah. Here we go, we're on the roll now, this easy jet off to Tenerife. That pulls so
So just departing guys, there's an easy jet off to Tenerife. We've been like for three and a half hours, which has been a good stream. We've had the Belugas, we've had two Virg we've had three virgins, we had an A three fifty and two three thirties. And we've had a seven four seven flying over us. We've had Bradley on, we've still got Rob C alongside here. Yeah. Big shout out to him. Been a big help today, so thanks Rob. That's all right, no problem at all, mate. Uh, jet 2, 14.45, redirected on time. Coming in. So when it says redirected on time, whatever that means. Must be. Getting long. So departing in around about 45 minutes time, we do have a jet 2. It's the last Palmas. Gran Canaria. So we'll have a Jet 2 departing in around about 40 minutes time. So we are going to catch a Jet 2. Don't even know. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, hang on. You had Liverpool there then. Yeah. Oh, shit. Rival. What did I see? I think it was on the departure. Just because it had like Liverpool to the uh, last farmers. Let's have a look at departure. So we've got a departure shortly for a Jet 2, so Gran Canaria. And we've got an easy Jet departure shortly as well to Belfast. It's Belfast and then we've got a Ryanair 10 to 4 to Dublin. But I'll probably be finished on easy Jet, depending on when the dash 8 appears. Dash 8 to Hold on for a bit, recall some content. Probably might end up waiting for the flaming jet so or the British Airways and then I might be here all day. I can't see that shit that you are you're which is that shape it'll be They're probably it's not, it's not showing off anyway. That's because it it's not on, on the Urini aircraft apparently, so it, while it's on Avanti or Titan it won't show up. But it was due around about a... Uh, around about half two. Mm. Yeah. So... <laughs> Kev's on the Amber. On the Uber. So, uh, which is crazy, like a bit like wider though when they're on the radar. Most of them you can't, even though it shows up, you, you can't track. You've got to put the reg in to track her. It's crazy. So we will have to dash out soon.
I'll be a double fight that one. Dublin to Amsterdam, 37,000. Fancy leave me biking in the middle of Amsterdam and all the gear off. Uh, I'd happily take that eight people in, but most of that's probably 19. That's a three hours 35. That's kind of quite good. Gone down Toggle Shore down there with the camera, and you have like the um, what they call the Dragon's Teeth in the Second World War. And look, there's a lot of bricks down there, and it was from houses that were demolished from the Second World War. And they dumped all the uh, bricks down there in Toggle Shore. I think it was uh, a bit of a scrapyard for boats at one stage back in the 1800s. And there's a beach. Miles long, and again, they just dumped all the bricks here. You know, they've got houses that got blown up in the Second World War, they had a load of bricks to get rid of, and they dumped them all on the beach. Just another big overhead there, guys. Uh, when you go to uh, Jersey, it's full of uh, almonds and pillboxes, what they call them. It's a huge amount of water there. Yeah. I'm not sure what's the uh, basic.
waving um, again. Uh, so we've got a Palautus PC12 on the taxi out, private owner. Uh, could be going to Scotland or somewhere like that. He's only gone there three quarters down the roadway. He hasn't come the full length. Well, unfortunately, you won't get to see much of him. So, Raven Air's been to Southport. <laughs> And the Palausis is on the move. Having a nice little day out in Southport, is he? Yeah, this is the uh, smaller one. I did a micro life flight there. They followed me once. That was quite good. I enjoyed it until, uh, until we spun in to come to land and then it. Turbulence, you know, that's scared the life out of you, know. Yeah. <laughs> Being such a little plane and the wind just blowing you about all, all over the place. And I think that morning they'd been over to the um, West Kirby or uh, took a fellow to the West Kirby or a woman. And then he was going up to the Lake, lake District after that. Which was a two hour flight, I think he said it goes as far as Bowness and then comes back. Uh, I was sat in a um, in a pub watching the, the rain and it, it gradually got greyer and greyer and I thought I'm glad I'm not in that now. <laughs> yeah. I got this little raven air again. As we are 15 minutes away from approaching four hours again live for a second time we're about to hit four hours on a live stream which is very good Go. Last sound. Someone commented on the chat. So, we've got eight people watching. Do say hello in the chat anyway. It's been an hour since I've seen a comment, so. Who's got me on the telly? Who's got me on the computer? Who's got me on the phone? Come on. Nine people watching. See who's still watching. We've got ten of you in the house. Let's see who's still watching this beautiful Tuesday afternoon live plane spotting from Liverpool Airport on the old mound. It has been a good show today. So thank you once again at the moment for those who have tuned in. Hit the like, comment, share, subscribe.
whatever that is. We are just awaiting, it should be on the way, the dash eight from Guernsey. Another overhead. Mm -hmm. One that way. There's one, one that way. And two vehicles. I think the one you can probably hear. There's a bigger one. I mean, look at the flight path that's done today. That's just that rain. It was on the arrivals, mm. so he's currently 20 minutes out. Oh god, Typhoon, or a black jack there. So we're 20 minutes out now guys, for the, from the Dash 8 de Havilland, coming in from Guernsey, which is operating the Guernsey flight for Urini, so that will be landing in over. It right in front of us here in about 20 minutes time so we are at 3 hours 45 so we are by the time he's landed we are going to pass 4 hours so yeah, we've also got a typhoon out and that is currently there's two of them around my Gloucester. Let's go over there around and round by look with. That's currently flying around by Bristol and Gloucester ways at the moment. We've got an easy jet coming in now. So on the way in now, which we've seen depart earlier on, about an hour or so ago, we've got an easy jet A320 now, two minutes out from Belfast, which I can now see just there through the tree. Oh, yeah. Just see it, yeah. So we've got the easy jet from Belfast, and then 18 minutes out. Two, three thousand feet. And 18 minutes out is the Guernsey Dash 8 for the Avanti Air. So we've got a couple of uh, more launches and arrivals coming up. Should have a departure shortly in around about 20 minutes time of Jet 2. And then an easy Jet to Belfast. So more likely wrap off on that, that easy Jet at about quarter past three. Get yourself some videos here. I did before, I'll get some more and then catch the British Airways later on. Just sit there, keep going. Yeah, I might as well. I'm going to try and do that British Airways one anyway in like a short one up. Oh. So it's at 2,000 feet and then 2 minutes out, easy jet A320 from Belfast, which we caught earlier on. So... But yeah. To stay about a good few numbers in. Let's see if I'll be in my head. The uh, EZ you are, the registration. Yeah, about a 35 minute flight. 40 minutes. Who 
we've got the lovely dash shape to come in. I probably will stay anyway after get the, get the arrival live to the jet. So easy jet. And then I can cut, record, just record as a video the dash 8 from here. There was an A380 flying there, but I can't see it. Yeah. So, we've got 3 hours 50 miles, another 45 minutes that'll be. Last time I did a stream it was like four hours forty or something like that. Four hours. Down Manchester was it? No, yeah, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I did a four hours forty. I think right at the end back end of that stream it was like four hours twelve in was that a bought at the takeoff to Belfast. So I'm just about to approach four hours now. Right, the uh, Belfast players uh, turned on approach. So short finals now is the EasyJet A320 coming in from Belfast. And then in about 15 minutes time we'll have the Dash 8 for Avanti Air operating from Guernsey for Urini. And for about probably the 5,000th time Raven Air. I think I have to wait quick because he's got a he's to get behind him. Uh, he's just within 1700 feet, so it's not far out. So short finals now is this EasyJet A320-200 touching down from Belfast is an easy jet now and then right behind it in about 50, 10 or 15 minutes time is the Avanti Air Dash 8 coming in from Guernsey operating for Urini. We'll have a jet to depart and shortly after Gran Canaria, Las Palmas. With this easy jet going back up to Belfast at a quarter past three and then that'll wrap up there then guys. But I will be back live later on for a good half, 20 minutes, half an hour for the British Airways Embraer. That's coming in from Munich and then a jet to arrival. But yeah, 34 likes and at least 15 watching today, thank you very much. Jet's now coming behind this tree on an arrival from Belfast. There we go, guys. Easy jet arrival from Belfast. Lovely A320 200. Down, lovely jubbly. And that was down, nice and lovely. Wouldn't mind it being on that plane, it was a soft landing.
yeah, you know what you do with that, so. Yeah.